the General Assembly. Is everyone gathered here? Are you here for the General Assembly? Do we have a temp check? Do we want to start the General Assembly? Any objection to starting a occupied General Assembly right now? No objection. Hey guys, I'm recording and just want to let you know also that the GA is starting. I don't know if you want to come up closer. Lisa, I'll see you guys in a little bit. The GA is starting. Six months studying sociopathy. That's very cool. <laughs> All right, so yeah, please uh, you know, try to make a circleish thing. Circleish thing if you want to participate in this general assembly. Like 740. And an exact address of the capital. 740. Uh, All right. Okay, so. Oh, we didn't do the temperature check. We didn't even ask if we even want to consider that doing. I, okay, so I did ask, do we want. Is there, is there any objection okay, to starting? No worries, sorry. Okay, so my name is oh, Matt. Three people to Hello. Move up. <laughs> my name is Matt, and I volunteered to help facilitate this General Assembly. Um, I'm from Washington State and the Occupy Port Townsend group. Um, is there any strong objection to me facilitating or no. being one of the facilitation team? <laughs> no, as in there's no objection. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm a good timer. Okay, Ooh. yeah, I'm going to fill roles in, in one moment. Sweet. Okay, I don't see a strong objection. So thank you for letting me facilitate. Um, so I've asked Cal to sort of be a, a backup uh, support facilitator. If things get crazy, then I might like say, hey, Cal, come up here, and we might powwow and think about what to do. Um, <laughs> Is it this shirt? <laughs> that's right. Anyone else in a tie-dye, you can be a support facilitator, too. <laughs> Okay, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Tie dyes and babies participate. Uh, so I do need a timekeeper. I'd love a timekeeper on the facilitation team. Okay. Um, and so periodically we might say, hey, uh, I will keep time according to the rules so that we all agree upon so that it's all maintained neutrality. Okay, sounds great. I need a stack taker. Um, anyone want to volunteer to be a stack taker for this General Assembly? Are those chairs available? Jackie, you can just stack. Oh, phew. Okay, so we got a stack taker. Thank you very much. Um, so, if you ever want to speak, you put your hand up. This is the first hand signal. Um, and make sure you get eye contact with, what's your name? Bill. With Bill. Bill will go. He'll nod his head. That means he's written your name down on the stack. And we are just going to do stack in order that your name gets on the list. Um, Please come to me and tell me your name. Actually, I would, you could do that, but... Um, uh, fine, I'll work it out. Yeah, Bill will work it out. Name on what list, Steve. Um, and I'm just going to sort of explain the process that I'm familiar with. Um, and if there's a... If you, if you want to do a point of process, um, you really feel it's necessary, then do that. And we'll dive into that. But it's, it's helpful to try to do as little process debate during a General Assembly. So um, hopefully the process as I am used to doing it feels good to everyone. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe a little bit more about that. Well, let's see. The process? I'm gonna explain process in no more than seven minutes if uh, you want to interrupt me. Okay. Uh, Okay, do we need another timekeeper? All right, I need a, no, I need a, a I got a stack taker, got a timekeeper, except the timekeeper just left. Any other? Um, all right, let's do a quick, really quick hand signals. Everyone knows this is sparkle up if you agree, sparkle down if you disagree, sparkle out if you're on the fence, uh, raise your hand if you want to get on stack. You absolutely must do a point of process, do the triangle, and that's really a way to help the facilitator. Um, other things, I don't generally, um, I don't use the uh, direct response uh, because it's just sort of a way to jump stack. And so I just generally say, if you want to say something, just raise your hand and you'll get on stack and get to speak um, on your... Another uh, timekeeper, up. Okay, we, could we have another timekeeper? No, I'm not. Oh, uh. Timekeeper. Any, anyone want to keep time? You just need a timepiece and I'll say, 
Um, See why processing never takes seven minutes. Go ahead and do it though. Can you use the cell phone because I don't have a watch? Never you will be my timekeeper. Okay. All right. Um, I have an iPad that has a clock on it. You could use that, but it's by minute. You tell me your, your, your okay. Your stream channel. So the, it's um, um, Mary Jane. In my experience, on stream, doing a general assembly, stream, we like to start out Jane. with a quick. Um, um, why are this you here? This guy. I don't know. And we just tell. do like for. Okay. okay. We do it for. Posted my link. Okay, I know. Five okay. minutes. Okay. Are we just gonna let that go for five minutes to say, let a few people say, why the heck are you here? Why do you travel here? <clears throat> speak from your heart for no more than like 30 seconds. Is there any objection to us doing that? Taking five minutes to let people share why they're here? Any objection? Everyone feel okay about that? Yeah. Feel like an okay thing to do is five minutes okay? I think you might need a minute No. Well, I'll try to be concise. Okay, so then we're going to do it. So, if you would like to share with this group why you are here, please raise your hand and get on stack. And Bill, just tell me who's first. All right, oh, and keep getting eye contact with Bill to get on stack. Go ahead. 30 seconds. Do I need to stand, stand up? Turn. Oh, God. That could take me 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, I'm here because of all the injustice, and we, because the 99% have to get together because of all the Everything that everybody knows, how horrible everything is, the middle class has disappeared or is in the process of almost being gone. And uh, the strength is in numbers, and we need people to stand together and do things as a group, not just in Sacramento, but I mean across the whole nation. And we need to get together and do things Great. to try to help ourselves. Two. No, uh, <laughs> Uh, basically here to teach people about a resource-based economy, uh, a social economic system that will address okay. pretty much Okay, that's how my computer is. Do you want me to, you know how to get it? Iceland had a bloodless revolution, crowded up all the corrupt bankers and politicians, threw them in jail, rewrote the constitution, restarted their country. We can't do this stuff, but we actually have to have a game plan of what to implement afterwards, and that needs to be logistically plausible. Resource-based economy, it can be done. All right, thank you. Three. Um, thank you. I'm Catherine Dawn. I'm I cannot here open this with one hand. We have full inspiration for this movement as uh, the foundation of real democracy movement of the world, Europe, and uh, Occupy and everywhere, as and the, in support of the 99 percent. And are really I've come here with a, with a viable proposal, similar in some ways to the resource-based thing, as a way to really actively begin to build the new replacement system from the grassroots. A proposal for a whole system change. I'll leave it. It's going to be a while. Hi, my name is Gabriel Allen. Uh, interestingly, I'm here for very similar reasons as. Uh, I have a lot of different ideas. Uh, my focus has been more on alternative forms of banking, uh, ways to make the financial system more democratically governed and, and more in the, in the interest of the public, uh, whatever the public wants to do. Um, and uh, and I've, I've got some proposals here that I'd like to share at the GA later if I possibly can about that. Uh, but also in the hope that we can sort of rekindle this movement in general. And, and, uh, Maybe these, these, forms, these gatherings will uh, continue and, and grow back to their former glory. I hope so. Are you? The, did you want to sneak? No. Oh. <laughs> you have anyone else? Are, are you time? Are you timekeeper? If you could just tell me when five minutes is up. Um, okay. My name is Jack Strasberg, and I came here one to kind of check out where Occupy is at. Two years after the beginning, but more important for me is to kind of yeah, get off the notion of the notion of creating the new paradigm. And then, um, it's going to be necessary. Yeah, we're going to try to become an alternative economics if we want to really 
do something about what's going on. And if anything and has to get revised, it might be easier for her to type it in there. I don't know. Or maybe she could just write it down. Well, the stuff is the stuff that is un unrepeatable that everyone can sense this on. I'm DeAndre from the Stop Mass Incarceration Network and uh, Months of Resistance. And briefly, I came here to encourage people to be part of this Month of Resistance against mass incarceration, the 2.4 million people locked up in prison, the black and brown youth who have no future under this system and have a target painted on their back, who are considered suspects, gang bangers, criminal elements before they've even done this? anything. Of the, of the large number of women in prison that has increased by 800% in the last 30 years, and the roundup of immigrants, wholesale roundup, and rounding up of children. All this is part of this horrible policy of treating people as less than human while Obama goes around the world and points his finger at other countries when right here, 5% of the population of the world, 25% of the prisoners, and month of October is going to be a massive month of resistance, and I'm calling on every occupier here, wherever you're from, to join with this month of resistance. I've got information I'll talk about it later if you want to talk to me, but let's do a freedom summer all over again, where people broadly in their millions are challenged to get out of their safety zone and actually confront the illegitimacy of this country. It's up, uh, well, I'm sure we went over our five minutes. Maybe like, uh, just, no? Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm here because to uh, give a teaching, which I gave today, and we'll give another tomorrow, on a way to magnify the power of Occupy. Uh, it's a national education campaign based on a resolution that was passed in 2011 at Occupy Sacramento. Uh, I'm also here tonight because I, I, I can't a workshop um, for people who have not spoken to uh, groups this size before. They don't feel comfortable speaking, even to people who haven't spoken to smaller groups. Um, because for me, one of the most amazing things that happened at Occupy in Sacramento was when the person with the megaphone invited everybody who wanted to speak up and invited people to stand on stage so that people who were not usually seen as the speaker got to speak. So I was scheduled for 8 o'clock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over there where that chair is. If, I didn't know there was a GA at this time, but um, if there's anyone who wants to uh, do it experiential interactive workshop on finding their voice. I'll go up there. If no one comes, they want to be here, I'll come back. I'll be there for a while though. Okay. Yeah, um, Alright, so the time limit is uh, up, so we got two more. Okay. Uh, so we have one. How many people left on staff? One person. Okay, um, and please, uh, we're trying to keep it under like 30 seconds to say why you're here. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I, my background, since I've been very young, has been creative in a lot of different aspects. And what I'd like to do here is to try to think of as many ways as I can to get your message out to as many people as possible. Uh, ways that you haven't tried before. Uh, some, some have been effective for you, but not that effective for you, obviously, because I haven't heard about you for years. So uh, that would be my job with you, is to try to get you an audience that is going to take you seriously, that's going to listen to what you have to say, and get more people into the group. So that's, that's my purpose. Um, okay. Uh, all right, so we have a uh, 
A process oh. check on the event. Uh, there needs to be an announcement. That's what it's called. Process check. Okay, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I'm gonna need. I know a couple people volunteered, but we need some. We need some help moving the food from the Capitol back to the hostel. I'm offering my car. Um, we're gonna start that around 8:30, which is then I think like half an hour. Um, so meet me at that tree right there. 8:30. We need like probably three people. Cause that's only part of it. So that tree right there. 8:30. Um, and obviously bring the food back. And we'll yeah. Thanks. Sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so the five minutes is up, and so I would normally just we'd go on to the next part of the GA. Each time a, uh, an agreed time limit um, is expired, um, is that? But I would check with the group. Everyone, all right, going to the next part of the GA. Any any strong objection? Um, if you were on stack for the part that we were just doing, you can keep your point on your place on stack for the next part. Um, so was that an objection? Was there any objection to moving on? Okay. Is that an objection? Yeah, she, she needs to <laughs> oh, finish. Okay, sorry. Down. One more thing. Um, all right, who wants to, whoever okay. wants to help with food, please raise your hand now. I need like three people. You, Delphine, and I can't see. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so the TV at the tree. I see that confirm who is actually going to help. Thank you, guys. Okay. Okay, uh, there was a question, a uh, process question. Uh, I think you need to find him and ask him. Uh, but let's. Uh, but he already went on stack. I would just keep on. Um, it would sort of break process if we, if we went to that. Okay, so um, if there's no objection to moving on, the next thing we would do and uh, the GAs I'm familiar with is consider proposals, okay? Uh, we don't, um, so first I need a, a sense of how many people uh, brought a proposal for this GA to consider. So we got at least two, two people, three people. Okay, um, so we're, what we're gonna need to do is take a little time to, to figure out which proposal we wanna consider first. Um, we have we have a number of them. We may not uh, actually get to all of them unless we're going to stay here till midnight. Um, so the process that I'm going to suggest is that if you have a proposal, um, please make sure you have some sort of title for the proposal because we're not going to read each one completely. We're just going to give you um, a chance to read the title of the proposal. And, and we got some process questions. I'm, let me finish describing the process that I'm going to suggest. You read the title of the proposal, so everyone, you know, and keep it under, let's say 30 seconds. You know, the title of the proposal and any context you want to give. Um, and then we're going to need to do some sort of temp check with the group and to see which one they want to jump on and start to consider, if any. Is that, so that's my process. Is there any concerns over the process that I just described? I see a couple. All right, let's. So, stack taker, please recognize people with the. Uh, yeah. We have a clarifying question and a point of process, point of process. Dick, whichever one you saw first. There's one proposal from yesterday's GA, and so I'd like to acknowledge that there was a GA yesterday, and uh, that, that proposal would be considered open. Okay. So, um, I still would defer to the group if, if they said they didn't want to talk about it. I would, as facilitator, I would still go with what the group wants to do. Okay. Um, okay, is there any other concerns with the process I just described? Um, okay, so if you have a proposal, please. Uh, kind of indicated something. Yeah, I just, I, I guess I feel like that, I feel like this is a bit of a cart before the horse because having done, I don't know how many hours of being in proposals over the last two days and even just today, I would want to see if that's what the group actually wants to use the GA for. Will okay. we even do that? Okay. Um, so because there might be some <coughs> other purpose for this GA than just than jumping into proposals. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as an objection to going to consider any proposals. Um, so let's open. We could briefly see. Uh, we could temp check first. How do, do people want to consider some proposals? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Is there any strong objection to moving on to consider proposals? I hope 
there aren't any proposals though that are going to like to be too divisive. I'm, I'm just hoping that we have a real mellow thing and that we and we really get to know it. I just don't want any divisiveness. I hope there's no proposals out there that are going to have a strong debate over tonight. Okay. Um, is that an objection to us doing proposals? No. Okay. Is there any objection to us moving on and considering proposals? Can we have a clarifying question? If, if it's not an objection and you want to get to proposals, then you might hold off. Um, is there any objection? What do you want to say? I, I Wait, he's curious. a facilitator. Yeah. It, um, so, so, I'm going to try to be as gentle as I can with the process. Um, and so, I'm just going to, you know, the question at the moment is, do we want to move on to proposals? If no one objects, let's let's go to proposals. We don't need to even discuss that comment if it wasn't really an objection. Um, so, I need a, I guess it's a quasi objection. Okay, so, final call for objections. Do you have an objection to moving on to proposals? Stack takers being recognized. We have one objection, I think. you have a question? I'm just going to, just put them on stack as an objection. Okay, go ahead. The only objection I have is, is if the, that forces us into a contrived time thing that we have to, in other words, we, we can't take forever, right? And we could stay until midnight, but I don't want it to get to a point where we have to cut off debate because we're out of time. I think in this gathering, before there's any cutting off debate or anything like that, we need to get to know each other. I think that really, I, I, I wish we could actually be in a circle. Maybe we could be in two concentric circles or something, but anyway, I would like to hear people's names, and I am more, and I am objecting to uh, a proposal process if <coughs> it uh, requires some difficulty in terms of time. I don't think we should be rushed. I don't think we should have any rush, anything rushed happening tonight. And we have a clarifying question. Okay. Um, sure. My question is, what, what are we going to do with the GA if we're not going to consider proposals? Every GA I've ever been Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go back to the question: Do we want to go on to proposals, or do we want to go on to something else? So, if you want to go to proposals, give me a temp check. Uh, how about a temp check on going on to something else besides proposals? There's some interest there. You don't want to get to know anybody. So. Um, Okay, so just please raise your hand if you want to get on stack. Um, all right, so I, I, let me just ask again, is there any objection to us moving on to proposals? Okay, so then I would go on to the, the point of information. So okay. we have the permit until 10 o'clock, and that is about an hour and 56 minutes from now, and we have to be cleaned up and all the stuff on the property, off the property like it was last night before 10 o'clock. So that's our time constraint. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and term of process and time. Uh, you know what? I'm willing to facilitate as long as people want to go, and the GA can move if it needs to move. Um, so I'm at the, you know, we'll just see how it goes. Um, all right, so, okay, point of information. So if the GA decides to continue past 10 o'clock, I think we need to have a break to get us off the property. That's not first. a point of information. No, okay. so that's the point of information. If you're going to do it, we will comment. need to have everybody help clean up and move off the property. That can't be suspended just because you want to move it somewhere else. Right. That's okay. All. So we we I, we're, we didn't have an objection to moving on a proposal. So I'm going to start the proposal process. Um, so is that an objection that you really need to voice? No, I, I, have, I don't think. So. There's a stack, isn't there? Okay. Okay. Um, Just FYI, she's jumping stack. Because we're dealing with proposals. If you were planning on doing the light brigade, they will be leaving from the north steps at 8:30. Mm -hmm. 
to go on over the five to put out the, the do the overpass light brigade. So to the extent that's going to diminish the numbers, proposals might be Tomorrow. discussed in a smaller group. And I'll Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so we're going to move on to proposal since everyone, no one objected to that. So, if you have a proposal, you need to raise your hand to get on stack, and There's whoever stack gets that, on though. stack first will be the first to read the title of their proposal, um, and then we're going to try to sort through them. Are you going to, are you going to raise your hand? Okay. Who's first? Tell me who's number one. One. Okay, you got a title for it? Yes. Just, just, just a title that they can remember. A proposal that Occupy and all the occupants from around the country and here take up the month of resistance against mass incarceration wherever you might be. Occupy has distinguished itself as being one of the, the great moments in recent history of the United States, when people came together from all walks of life, different races, different creeds, different political positions, and all came together around something that was absolutely urgent and necessary. And on, in that spirit, I'm really calling on people to take up this month of resistance against mass incarceration that can bring together many, many people, for a big tent, a big Occupy tent, where Occupy can actually rejuvenate its energy and reach out to many people that are in the oppressed communities that we have not reached out to before. Great. Thank this, you. Okay. Probably should be limited to that. Okay. So, title. what are you going to say how this could be done? Well, just no? title. Okay. We're going to call it the Month of Resistance okay. Against Mass Incarceration Proposal, and, okay. and we'll take oh. it. We'll just start. That's all we need for now. We just need sort okay. of a title oh. so we can, the group can decide yeah. who's next. Why we need to end capitalism, start an RBE. End capitalism and start what? An RBE, resource-based economy. Okay, so it's the end capitalism and start an RBE proposal. All right, give me another proposal. Okay, number three is? I'm four, I think. Uh, who's three? Uh, I am, yeah, and uh, ours is the um, continuation of last night's uh, 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 solidarity with civilians in Palestine. So it's the Solidarity with Civilians in Palestine proposal, continuing from yesterday's GA. Um, okay, who's next? Um, and this is a proposal to hold an international G99% People's Assembly in Australia, when there will be a lot of the community of, of the world, the global justice movement gathered in Brisbane in November for the G20. Okay. So, and, yeah. so I'm sorry, but uh, I couldn't indicate that I had two. Another one just as quick. Okay. Um, is a proposal to start to build the replacement socio-political economic system from the grassroots, a genuine global democracy from the grassroots. While this system is crumbling, start to build the new one. It's called the Earth Holacracy proposal. Earth Holacracy? H-O-L-O. Crossy. Okay, so we got the International G99% People's Assembly in Australia proposal and the Earth Holacracy proposal. Who's next? Number five. Um, so my proposal is to uh, identify a, a piece of land somewhere where we can have this go on perpetually. Ideally, a private piece of land that's owned by the movement democratically governed by the General Assembly that operates it. All right, so let's call that the, what, land General Assembly land purchase? The, uh, the Occupy land purchase. Occupy land purchase proposal. Okay. Any other proposals that you, we're already beyond, no way we're going to, uh, not a strong <laughs> chance we're going to get to all these proposals. I won't say no way, but uh, does anyone else really want to put a proposal on this list? Okay, so I count six proposals. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a, t first we're gonna do, this is gonna be hard, we're gonna do a temp check, just get some initial reaction. T uh, give me a temp check of what's your enthusiasm for doing this proposal, um, 
first. Okay, that's what we need to decide. Which one do we do first? Um, so I'm going to read them and try to watch for the temp check. And uh, all right, here. Okay, we got some. That's good. A process. Yes. I feel that the old business should be read first without a temp check. Okay, so there is uh, a process check saying that we should. Are you saying we should read the entire proposal first? Well, I, I think that that, that that should be the first item of business. Okay. Um, so the request that the item, the solidarity with civilians in Palestine proposal, be first um, without uh, doing a temp check. So first, I need to. So we need to decide if that's the process we want to do. Do we want to just go straight to the solidarity with civilization with civilians in Palestine proposal? All right. So I see a mixed temp check on that. Um, is there an objection to going straight to the solidarity with civilians in Palestine? So there is an objection. Um, so we can either debate whether we do that, or we could just go with um, we could just uh, go with what I was going to do, and we just temp check them all together. Um, do you want to engage in a? Could we so, hear his concern? Yes, please. Okay. Um, because I yeah, thank you. I did, I did propose this. So. Um, the only reason that, that I want to wait uh, to do that is because if there might be, this one is going to take a long time, and it might be better to start this after, after th things that might start, that we might get through but rather quickly. You mean tomorrow? I'm sorry. Tomorrow? No, I, I took that as we might actually pass some of these other proposals and feel good and feel like, woo, and then go into a big controversial That's one is right. kind of what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. So, okay, so, do we want to go straight to the solidarity with civilian Palestine proposal? Give me a temp check on that. Jumping straight to that. So I'm still seeing a mixed temp check. Um, so, is there an objection? And I'm just going to ask for objections to see if one of these we can do because there's no objection. The two options are... Um, go straight to that proposal or sort through all the proposals and see if we can pick another one or see which one comes out of a more organic process. Those are the two process paths we could take. So is there an objection to going straight to the Palestine proposal? Just to put your hand up if you object to going straight to it. Okay, there are some objections. Is there an objection to doing the organic process of considering all the proposals and seeing which one rises to the top? Is there any objection to trying that? No objection to that process passed. So I'm going to go down that path if there's no objection. Okay. So we're going to try this. I'm going to read the name of each proposal. Give me a temp check. If you are like, yeah, let's do that proposal first. First up, month of resistance proposal against mass incarceration. What's your temp check on doing that first? Could we hear them all again? Oh, I don't know. Uh, am yeah. I? Okay, I'll read them all, and then I'll do it again. Uh, the next one is... End uh, capitalism and start an RBE, a resource-based economy. The next one is solidarity with uh, civil uh, civilians in Palestine. I'm not really watching for the temp check at this moment. I'm just reading them. Uh, the next one is international 99% uh, people's assembly in Australia. The next one is earth holacracy. And the last one is occupied land purchase. Okay, um, so now I'm going to read them again, and now I'm watching for temp check, and I almost need, like, someone to, to help. Temp, might have to temp end up check counting. watch? But I'll read them and you watch. Here, that stand up here, and uh, he's going to read them, and... Um, Anybody can read them. It doesn't have to be me. Okay, we'll just, we'll just go. Ready? Yeah. Month of resistance proposal against mass incarceration. Give me a temp check if you want to jump on that one first. Okay. Uh, end capitalism, start a resource-based economy. Okay. Uh, solidarity with civilians in Palestine. Okay. Uh, the G99% People's Assembly in Australia. Okay. Uh, Earth holacracy. Okay. And occupy land purchase. One twinkle from live stream. Okay. For which one? The land. Okay. So it was the, the two that really were strong 
um, was the month of resistance proposal against mass incarceration and the Palestine one. So we need to pick which one of those we go with first. So just thinking about those two, um, let's do it again and uh, see where we are. So month of resistance proposal against mass incarceration. You want to go to that one first. Okay, and uh, the solidarity with civilians in Palestine proposal. You want to go to that one first. Okay, uh, it, I believe it was, it was stronger for the mass incarceration one, in my visual opinion. Um, so I would say, is there any objection to going to the um, month of resistance proposal against mass incarceration first and seeing if we can uh, do that one? So there is at least one objection. Um, I'm just going to check for the other. We already did the other one. Once. Okay, so we're going to open stack because we need to decide uh, which way, which proposal to start with first. To decide between these two, that's what we're deciding. Do we start with the mass incarceration proposal or the civilians in Palestine proposal? Please put a timer on that. Okay. Um, Wait, so, um, what are we doing? do we have a timekeeper still? I will be happy to. Well, mass incarceration. Yeah. Until 30, then I get to go do my first overpass light brigade in Sacramento. Okay. All right, so let's uh, take a shot at uh, five minutes. All right, see if we can resolve this one. So, uh, stack is open. All we're talking about is which proposal we start with, the mass incarceration or the civilians in Palestine proposal. That's the only topic right now, okay? Go ahead, Jack. Take her. And please, when the time is up, we're going to we're going to stop and do a temp check to see if we can move on from this part. Okay, even if you're still on stack, so please don't get offended with me if you're still on stack at that point. And if we can't move on, we pick up right where we were on the stack. Okay. All right, go ahead. What? How much time does everybody do talk on stack? There's no uh, no time limit, um, so but. I try to be concise. One hand signal I forgot to mention is really important, and that is this. And what this means is, um, please wrap up what you're saying. Um, it may even mean I totally agree with you. I love what you're saying, but please wrap it up because I don't want to be here all night. So um, feel free to gently do that, and then I don't have to do it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I think we should do um, the proposal regarding Palestine first, simply because it makes sense to finish up old business. And we were given a task by the GA last night to revise some statements and bring them back tonight. Um, so I'd like to see it put first. We split the GA, I think, um, no. which we could do no. if, no. You, if people want to do that. No. Uh, but the, to me, the GA is about consensus, see if you can get consensus around. And two proposals, I think we could potentially do both these proposals tonight. We misunderstand that. Facilitator proposal. So we just need to pick one to start right. with. So who, who else is on stack? So that's all of stack so far. Okay, if that's all of stack, then we can do a check to see if we can. We have a clarifying question. Right. The, it's just, are you, are you aligned with this or not aligned with this? Because I'm concerned that we get into a whole friendly amendment and we're off and running for hours now. Can I respond? Okay. And my response to that is that the committee took on that task as directed by the GA and worked all day long on revising it. We have very clear revised statements taken into consideration 
uh, the feedback from the group. And so I'm assuming we'll read the revisions and possibly, like last night, take them sentence by sentence to see if we can just consent, maybe say yes, consents, consents, and the ones we don't, then we revisit them. And it's up to the group to decide if we want to um, change them as a group, the ones that we don't consent on right away. All right, let me do a uh, quick announcement. Uh, this gentleman found some keys over there, and he's concerned that it might be someone's here. Anyone? Anybody Ooh. missing their keys? Ooh. Mic Ooh. check! Mic Ooh. check! Ooh. Anyone missing your keys? It was Anyone missing your keys? Your keys? I'm a, I'm I'd, I'd say put Check those say pockets, put baby. Yeah. Check those pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, feedback from live stream uh, if I could contribute. I have feedback from live stream. Wait, Chaz, do, what do you like, the land or the Palestine? Chaz? I really think we could do both these proposals potentially. We just have to go with one first. So, um, is there any objection to going? Uh, no, let's do the temp check. Temp Hi. check. Do you want to go? Doing it all over the, the country, and they uh, seem to be doing it wrong. Mass, mass incarceration proposal Howdy. first. Temp check. Give me a visual temp check. Wait, what? Temp check on what? Yeah, if you don't care. Huh? Don't put your hands Don't's up. Right. You know, if you don't care. What? What did they uh, ask for the, first? Um, the solidarity of civilians. Ah, in Palestine okay. Proposal first. Please give me a temp check. I, I don't see an obvious one, so I'm just going to ask if there's an objection. If there's, if one of these paths Did has you? no objection, we go down that path. Okay. So do we? Is there an objection to going with the? Point of process first. Light brigade is leaving. That's not a point of process. That's an announcement. Okay. Is there any objection to going with the months of resistance against mass incarceration proposal first? Any objection? Yes. There are objections. Hold on. Is there any objection to going with the solidarity with civilians in Palestine proposal first? Yes, please. There are objections. <laughs> I have a suggested <laughs> compromise. And there's a point of process. Quickie. We just lost our timekeeper. Thank you. Can I have a new timekeeper? Um, and you just need to, when I say watch for five minutes, I just need you to say, hey, five minutes is up. Okay, we got a timekeeper. Thank you. Uh, I have a suggested compromise. So the only way to resolve that is we need to talk. I want to be on the stack, please. I want to be on the stack. So I'm going to open stack to how much time? Uh, five minutes. Is all right, everyone? Okay Thank you, timekeeper. We can resolve which proposal we go with first. Your one, two, three. All right, just Thank you, first. Cliff. <laughs> okay, so I have a suggestion that would be like a compromise. I would suggest that we review the. Um, the uh, revised Palestine statements, see if we can consent on any of them without asking for comments, questions, or concerns, and then set it aside. Um, if we have ones that are not consent on, set those aside, and then move to um, the proposal about mass incarceration. And then the group can decide if we want to come back tonight and craft the non-consent statements or put it off for tomorrow. Okay, so that's like a process suggestion uh, that I'd like, as facilitator, I'd like to just check to see, temp check that process path. So how do we feel about, um, seriously, somebody lost their license. Guys, uh, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Amy Renee Miller. Amy Renee Miller. Don't tell her Miller. Don't tell her Miller. Amy Renee Miller. Amy Renee Miller. And then anything controversial, we park and potentially take up after the incarceration or later. Okay, so temp check on that process path. Do you like going that way? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, any strong objection to going that way? There is at least one objection. The stack is open. 
on concerns with that path. And we're now talking about we're talking about going the uh, that process path. It feels close, so I want to see if, if we can get through any roadblocks. So stacks open on that. On that. Okay. Who's up? So uh, we, we did that yesterday for, for, to start with, and, and we had our committee, and, and we wind, wound up walking away from each other and not able to agree on the things that were contentious. Um, yeah, exactly. So I expect more of the same, and it to take a long time, because okay. I'm going to object to the things that so, we talked about. So just as a um, process, I don't think it'll take a long, it's basically just reading it, seeing if there's an objection. If there's an Objection. We don't talk about it. We just do that for each statement. It might, every statement might reject, and then we go to the next proposal. I think it actually time-wise, it, it'll be really fast. Um, so um, I'm just gonna check again. Just see if that resolves, if that in any way resolves your concern for anyone else. Is there any objection to basically just reading the statements of the proposal, doing a quick consensus check on each statement? And then moving to the next uh, proposal, the mass incarceration proposal. Is there any objection to doing that process? You just left. Great. Okay. So we're going to do that <laughs> process. I don't see an objection. So get up here, Palestine. Will you get up there and read them right now? Because our guy left to read them. you have to just read them. And we're going to do a quick um, He'll read them. temp check on each one. Yes? Please, I think you want to talk about Oh, yeah. Them. We're going to do a new. Um, yeah. We actually don't need a timekeeper, I think, for this part. So I don't yeah, think it'll go long enough. Yeah. Okay, so all they are going to do is, uh, let's have you... He wants to intro it, and then if you could just read this, because Sanai, so he, the he whole walked thing to the first bathroom, and then go statement by statement. Um, yes, it, I do need to preface it by 60 minutes, or 60 seconds, 60 minutes, 60 seconds, okay, 60 seconds preface, do what you're about to do, what you're about to do. You do 60 second intro, and then we just go first statement? Exactly. Okay. So he's going to give an intro, and then we're going Get ready, girl. Statement. Okay, Please. Uh, hey friends, listen, I just want to let you know that this committee has been working very hard the last few days. Most of all, in my opinion, Jennifer has been working very, very hard in this the last few days and has missed a whole bunch of workshops we wanted to go, we wanted to, go to in order to craft this space in a way that is was inclusive and um, um, yet still good. So I want to appreciate Jennifer and uh, acknowledge that. And uh, one, it's all you. We stand in full solidarity with the Palestinian people and their struggles to be free from oppression to end the occupation, end the apartheid, and end settler coloni colonialism. Can't hear you over here. Maybe louder, yeah. yeah. We demand that the United States of America seize its complicity in these war crimes and crimes against humanity. Hold on, let's just do one statement. Let's do the first statement. We're just going to do one statement, okay? Um, so the first statement again. We stand in full solidarity with the Palestinian people and their struggle to be free from oppression, to end the occupation, end the apartheid, and end the settler colonial colonialism. That's the okay. first sentence. Uh, so does anyone need that read again, that one statement? Okay. Is there any objection to consenting on that one statement? Okay, so those, there are some objections. Um, and for an objection, you can just sort of put your hand up. I object, oh, so, I, so I don't have to interpret. Okay. okay. So there were some objections to the first one, so we're just going to go to the next one. Go ahead. We demand that the United States of America cease its complicity in these war crimes and crimes against humanity by withdrawing all foreign aid to the Israeli military made possible by taxpayer monies. Okay. So attempt check. <laughs> Anyone need it read again? Did you hear it? Uh, is there any objection to uh, consenting on that statement? There are objections. Okay, next statement. We call upon the United Nations to impose strategic non-violent sanctions on Israel to end the ongoing assault on Gaza and brutal occupation of the West Bank, both of which violate the Fourth Geneva Convention. Okay. Is there any objection to uh, approving that uh, statement? There are objections. Okay. Go. Next statement. We demand the restoration of freedom of movement for all Gazans and West Bank Palestinians, demolition of the walls, 
and liberalization of the borders between Israel and Palestinian territories. Okay. Um, is there any objection to uh, approving that statement? Is that an objection? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Extended twinkle. <laughs> okay, so I'm. Uh, so there was consensus on that statement. Seriously? Okay. Yeah. Which one? All right. <laughs> there was consensus on the statement. Okay. Next one. We insist that homes and properties illegally confiscated from the Palestinians by the Israeli government from the Nakba to now be returned to their rightful owners, or if they are deceased, their rightful heirs. Or if those homes and properties are not returnable, that just monetary compensation shall be dispensed to the rightful owners of heirs or heirs. Okay. Is there any objection to consenting to that statement? There are objections. Okay. Any more? Okay. So we did what we agreed to. We read each statement. One passed with consensus. So um, the next step would be we go to we, we now table the proposal and go to the other proposal, the mass incarceration. And then after we do that proposal, we get to decide what we do next. Everyone good with that? Any objection? That was what we agreed to? Point of process? Instead of deciding what we do next after the mass incarceration proposal, I, I propose that we go to old business and then decide what we want to do. Oh. OK, well, we don't. All we need to agree to is the ne very next step, which is now we're parking this proposal and we're going to the mass incarceration. We can talk about after that, after that. All right. Is there any objection? Can you read, can you read the one that passed? Uh, there's a request to read the one that passed. Um, you have a temp check on that? Is everyone okay with that? Any objection to reading what passed? Okay. I don't see an objection. Go ahead. We demand the restoration of freedom of movement for all Gazans and West Bank Palestinians, demolition of the walls, and liberalization of the borders between is Israel and the Palestinian territories. Okay, that's what passed. Okay, so um, great, thank you. So uh, we're going to park that for the moment. Um, and now we are going to the month of resistance proposal against mass incarceration. And uh, the, the process we're going to follow is we're going to read the proposal. Um, actually all written out or are you just going to talk uh, I'm going to highlight a couple things and then people can choose Okay. Them. Okay. Um, okay. So he's going to say the proposal. Um, we might want to try to actually get it into a few, like a clear mm -hmm. sentence or two so someone can write it down so we know what we're consenting to. Oh, uh, uh, you want to just, Samantha? She's writing. So maybe, um, Samantha, okay. try to get something written down that we can repeat. Um, right, I've been. Okay. I did that for the last one too. Um, do we want to try to do what? We could set a time limit <laughs> for this proposal and say if we don't get it resolved doing, right? in 40 minutes that we consider parking it or something like that. Do you want to set a time limit of any sort? Okay, so you want to set a 30 minute time limit? And all we do is basically check do we want to park it at 30 minutes or keep going? Does anyone, everyone feel okay with a 30-minute time limit? Any objection to a 30-minute time limit? Okay, 30 minutes. Please watch that. And they just, when time is up, just say it. Time's up. Okay. No warning? Uh, You've only got three minutes left. Yeah, yeah. Give, you can give us, give me a three minutes. Just like, okay. 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 This was long, so I'm going to pull out a couple bullet points. Hopefully it'll make the point. Uh, <clears throat> we, we propose that occupies take up October 2014, month of resistance to mass incarceration, police terror, repression, and the criminalization of a generation. Awesome. Let's, let's say that is a proposed. Now you yeah. can say more yeah. about it. Yeah. But that, we're going to consider that's those words proposal. right there. That's right. the proposal. He's going to tell you a little bit more background around it. Okay. All right. As I said, 5% of the world's population, 25% of the prisoners. Oops of the world's prisoners. 800% increase of women prisoners in the last 30 years. And also a special attack on lesbian, gay, and transgender people in prisons. 80,000 prisoners in the United States are being held in solitary confinement for over a decade, many 30 or 40 years, considered torture by the world. Black and Latino youth 
have a target on their back in this society. And all this is a new Jim Crow, as Michelle Alexander said, but it includes even more people than she was talking about in terms of the massive amounts of immigrants who are treated as subhuman, deported from this country and facing all kinds of discrimination. This must stop now, not in the next generation, not in 10 years, not in any time in the prom some promised future that never seems to come, but now. So we in Occupy are joining with the month of resistance and calling for a massive month of resistance to mass incarceration in October of this year, a month that can impact all of society one that can open the eyes of millions of people to the need to end this new Jim Crow. October 2014 must be a month that makes clear to thousands and thousands that people are willing to stand up and speak out today and to awaken and rally forth millions. Okay. All right. So why don't you read the, the first sentence that is gonna, we're going to consider the actual proposal one more time. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So this is the actual proposal, these words. Okay, actually it says, we say no more. A call for October 2014, a month of resistance to mass incarceration, police terror, repression, and the criminalization of a generation. Period. Yes. Okay. So that's the proposal, and the pro I'm just going to take you through what the proposal process that I would normally use, and hopefully it works for this. Um, so what we would first do, is there any questions of clarification, just so you understand the words he just read? If you, you have to be, now this is not a way to jump on Stack and give an opinion, this is it's a clarifying question. Okay, so Stack's open to that, you need to recognize. Clarifying questions. Um, we have a fabulous Stack taker tonight. Okay. So we have a timekeeper. that uh, Occupy will officially, not just, do, so you officially have declared October uh, a, a, uh, a, a month of resistance uh, against mass incarceration. But Occupy will um, uh, uh, declare for itself as well, in joining you, that it will understand October to be a month of resistance against mass incarceration. That's correct. Okay. Um, are you looking at specific actions Dates. Are you looking at specific actions on specific dates? Yes, good question. Nationally, there are four dates that have been decided on, which I would encourage everyone in their areas to take up. The first weekend of October, we are calling on hundreds, maybe thousands of churches, mosques, and synagogues to dedicate that sermon or that gathering as, as a day to stand against mass incarceration. Then on Columbus Day, which is, I think, October 12th or 13th, or 12th, we are joining with immigrants all around the country for a day of demonstration saying, not one more deportation. People can do that where they are. On October 22nd, historically, a day to stand up against police brutality, repression, and the criminalization of a, of a generation. This year, we want it to be massive, which means like every community or joining with other communities to make this day one that lights up the sky and that the total is greater than the sum of its parts. And then finally, there might be others out of this, but finally, on October 30th, a day everywhere, wear orange. Okay. Um... Any other clarifying questions? Here? Number two? She just asked you. Oh, okay. She already went. Okay, so no other, uh, is that a clarifying question? Yes. Okay, there's another one behind I you. I wondered why orange on Halloween? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's kind of coincidental, but orange is the color of people who are detained and, oh, and, and, and orange, tortured yes. by this system. And it's normally the color that incarcerated people are forced to wear. I'm 
Well, we're going to... One, one thing is, we want this whole month to get the message out very clearly about Orange. And then if people happen to wear Orange, that even makes us bigger. <laughs> anyway, no. But we want we want Orange to be seen as a symbol of, of standing against torture, as the people who wanted to shut down Guantanamo made Orange a very well-known color. Okay, so we got more clarifying questions, it seems, popping up. Um, I just want to do a little process check. Your proposal is just to recognize the day. You're not asking for those specific action approval at this moment, unless you want to add those to your proposal. Okay. We can do them separately. We could first try the statement and then do the action proposals. Obviously, there's a, there's a question of capacity and people going back home and stuff. But what part of the proposal is, is that people should try to link up with the Stop Mass Incarceration Network at stopmassincarceration.net, find out what's happening, and join with others and promote these days. In addition, if there's things in your local community like a detention center that people want to do something about, great. Don't wait for any particular day. Do it, but publicize it as being part of the month of resistance against okay. mass incarceration. Okay. Are there any other clarifying questions? Yeah. And we got a point of process, so I'm going to go point of process. Uh, what it, so the process I normally do is um, after we do clarifying questions, I always just do an immediate check for consensus. Is there any objection to just approving this proposal without further discussion? If you want further discussion, you just say, you just put your hand up. If you have something to ask or whatever, you just do that at that time. So I'll just keep doing that every few minutes until people stop putting their hands up. So that's the, that's the process I was going to do. All right, so any other uh, clarifying questions? Um, okay. What was the second date? The second date was uh, Columbus Day. Okay. Uh, demonstrations all over the country, not more, one more deportation. All right, any other, anyone else on stack? So, is there any objection to approving this proposal uh, without any further discussion? Just put your hand up if you need further discussion. There is some need for further discussion, so what we're next going to do is um, we're going to open stack uh, for, uh, let's try, let's try, um, uh, well, we'll just open stack and we'll try to be concise. Um, okay, so uh, stack is open for uh, discussion, and maybe in about, maybe after like five to ten comments, I'll just sort of pause us and see if we can uh, approve the proposal. So go ahead, who's on stack? Hands up. Um, so yeah. I, I'm wondering if we could just take out the last word generation and put the period before generation because it's more than just a generation, right? Isn't the message for like more than just one generation? But I'm also okay if, you, if everybody wants to leave it in. Okay. So, um, okay, next. Okay. I, um, I agree with it and I'm all for it except. I have a, a problem with perception. Since the Occupy movement has not been you know, highly you. visible for up, since, <coughs> since the uh, Occupy movement has not been that highly visible in a while, I I worry that if we get associated with the prison population, which I agree with all that he's saying. I'm just afraid that the Occupy movement gets attached to this and and it would be bad for us, other people's perceptions of what the Occupy movement is about. Okay. That's my All right. Next. Uh, I think we're... Uh, no, 
probably pick you up number two and you're going to be number two. Okay, so um, my only thing goes back to what um, Homer was bringing up as per to the last word. I think also we're leaving behind the notion of class and poor. It's mass incarceration, mass incarceration of the poor, not just the generation. Right. Yeah. That's better. Uh, first of all, I, I can give people the actual document that this is based on, which does very clearly uh, say that. And it's, it's not just about black or brown, but definitely those are the ones that comes down hardest. And in this country today, there is a wholesale criminalization of youth in general. Okay, that, That's why we're coming at it that way. In terms of um, how this would maybe hurt the image of, <laughs> of Occupy, I'll tell you, you'll be in very good company. Uh, Michelle Alexander is part of this. Uh, Cornell West is part of this. Alice Walker is part of this. Noam Chomsky is part of this. So it's a very broad sweep of well-known individuals who I think Occupy would be proud to join. mention uh, specifically prison industrial complex and I, I don't know uh, I thought maybe that should be important to, to mention that uh, we're against that and also the uh, school to prison pipeline um, I don't know if those are just too buzzy kind of words but I think that's what people recognize as something that we're fighting against just an idea amendments if we want to, but I think the original statement was short, sweet, and clear. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else on stack? Um, so as for uh, the uh, occupied image, um, I think that the prison industrial complex is something that we all take seriously. Everyone here, I don't think that there's any objection to that. If there is, please tell me. Um, but... Uh, and I'm kind of reminded of a of the old Rabbi Hillel saying, uh, "If not now, when?" So I think that um, image. Uh, I understand the image concern. I think we need to um, be aware of it, but still go forward with this. Okay. Anybody else on stack? No. no. Okay. There's no one on stack, so I'm going to do a quick temp check on uh, how we feel about moving forward with the proposal. If we do not move forward at this moment, what we'll do is we'll actually ask for clear statements of concern, um, and then we'll try to resolve the concerns with friendly amendments. Um, so, is there any objection with approving the proposal as it's currently written without any further discussion or amendment? Please put your hand again. up. What? Can we read it again? Can we read it one more time? Oh, yeah. Is that okay with everyone? We read it out loud one more time. Any objection to that? I'll, I'll just okay. read what, we, what we're endorsing. Yeah. We say no more. A call for October 2014, a month of resistance to mass incarceration, police terror, repression, and the criminalization of a generation. Okay. So is there any objection to approving the proposal as written without any further discussion or any amendments? Is there any objection? There are some objections. So what we're going to do now is we're going to ask you to make your objection a clear concern that we can then try to resolve. Okay? Does that make sense? So we're going to open stack up and uh, please state what your concern is um, so I can write it down and then we can try to resolve it. So please see who's first. So he's first? Go ahead. I have the issue, as it was brought up earlier, about a generation, because okay. it is more than a generation. See, so whatever the, the conversation was for the word to replace generation, I move that we do that. Okay. 
So one concern is with the word generation, and we'll come back to that with the next person on stack. I, I second this concern and add to the fact that it, I, I further think that it should be more on the class issue behind it. I, I understand that I race is very predominant feedback. on the context okay. of it. But uh, also concerns. Very, they say very point important of clarification. I'm not sure if it is or not. Okay. How much class plays a role in it? Okay, so uh, having a more of a focus on class is the second <laughs> concern. Uh, who else is on stack? We have a. I have feedback from live stream. Uh, does it sound like a concern that you could voice? Yeah. Um, Any objection to us considering a live stream remote concern? Okay. Okay. Uh, point of clarification. Uh, there are people in Chicago who would embrace Occupy coming out in opposition to the race and incarnation in the USA. Race and incarceration. All right, that doesn't sound like an objection. It sounds like a voice of support, but I don't think I don't hear a concern there to resolve. Okay, anybody have a concern that they want to add to? We have the word generation and more of a focus on class. Anyone else have a concern we want to try to resolve? Did you mean incarceration? Uh, is, that, is your hand up back there? No, I'm trying to eat okay. the light out of my eyes like <laughs> So we got two <laughs> you're concerns. You're not consent to your light. Um, your, your hand up. Okay. Is it right for camera or not? It's for camera. <laughs> All right. We'll try that. All right, so stack who's next? Oh. Is there a concern? I, I believe we need to address the prison industrial complex and the pipeline and corporatization of imprisonment. Okay. Uh, so, addressing the prison industrial complex and corporations and prisons. Okay, so I got three concerns. Anyone else want to put a concern on there before we start to try to resolve it? You don't see anyone? Okay. So, we got three concerns. I'm just going to take them in order, if that's okay with everyone. Okay. Now it's dark. I can't see your objections as easy, so it's going to go fast. Um, so, first is the word generation. Um, so, uh, read the statement again so I know where generation falls. Uh, is it just at the end? Yeah. No, so it's the second to last one. At the end. Criminalization of a generation. The criminalization of a generation. Does anyone have a friendly amendment to suggest to try to, to change that, to resolve this concern? Go ahead. Here? Yes. Okay. Criminalization of yet another generation of the working class. Oh, yeah. All right. If they want to jail the bourgeoisie, that's fine with me. Okay, so of yet another generation of the working class is the friendly amendment. Um, let's just do a quick check. Uh, what's temp check on that friendly amendment? Uh, add changing generation to yet another generation of the working class. Pretty good temp check. Is there any objection to that being the uh, an amendment to the proposal? I do not see a hand up. You're gonna have to, are you objecting? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I just want to. I want to say that. Um, like I said, this was, this was forged by a number of people in New York whose loved ones have been killed by police, people locked up in prison. Yes, there were a lot of workers there as well, but this is what was forged in that meeting. Um, this is a very big tent. We are inviting people in that have different analysis. Personally, I don't think the prison industrial complex, uh, now the, my opinion, really explains what, what is going on here, which Michelle Alexander did not talk about the prison industrial complex. But if people, people should come in and feel free to come in with their own analysis, if they think that, that if, if they personally in these, in these gatherings want to speak, you know, like publicly, their own different objections or feelings, this is more than welcome. Okay. Basically, we're putting this out as do, okay. do people stand with this or not? Okay, yeah. so as a point of process, oh, that's a great clarification. So um, you're basically saying if it doesn't pass as it's worded, you're withdrawing the proposal from this uh, assembly, because um, which is fine. Um, point of process, I don't think he can do it. A proposal, once introduced into a GA, belongs to the GA. We craft it. So, well, he can... He can, well, you can withdraw from the GA. The GA can keep going with it and pass a slightly different wording if they want to. Um, so, uh, do you, is, but is that basically, you really want to pass, I'm hearing you want to say, you want to pass with the current wording, you don't want to change, um, is what you're saying. What, what, did I? <laughs> what I'm saying is the statement, people can read it, maybe they want to take some time to read it. It is what it is. 
I came to basically ask people to join with the month of resistance against mass incarceration. Bring your own analysis. We have ministers who, who think that God will say this. That's not my position. But all of us together can actually differ in our opinions and come out stronger with this. But we're just saying that people should not stand aside from this, this month, which is okay. what we're bringing to Okay, so I'd suggest we uh, break this up into two questions. The first question is, you want an endorsement of that statement, yes or no? And if the answer is no, we won't endorse it as it's worded, then the assembly may wish to endorse a statement that's slightly altered. Um, that's the way I would approach it. You first want to know, will they endorse that statement as worded in support of uh, that? Uh, okay. Could I, uh, that we have uh, we got a point of process. Of process. Well, I want to just add, does that sound to the, the to you? Okay. Does that sound like a reasonable question to ask the group? Do they endorse the statement as written? Every yes. question is reasonable, I suppose. But anyway, no. I came I came to the GA to encourage people wherever they go to take part in this month of resistance. Period. I read what what the call was, yeah. and I made some points off yeah. of it. But the thing is, wherever you go, be part of this movement, you know, and, and do something in that month of October. Um, and Why people not? can bring, like I said, their own thinking, their own, you know, philosophy into the mix. That's great. That's okay. great. Okay, so just as a process check, I'm just going to do, a since he expressed that, uh, my instinct is just to do a quick check, again, if we can uh, prove it as worded without any changes. If not then I'm going to continue with what the group wants to do. If you want to continue... I have a point of process. Um, okay, so we got a couple point of processes. If you don't, if you don't hold on, hold on. We had another point of process before yours. And I have a third. So, I'm sorry. That's what I saw. Yeah. Yeah. So like this afternoon when uh, I was sort of a deadlock and a back and forth going on... I'm Can't like, hear. Can't hear. So like this afternoon in the, in the Occupy Sacramento GA, uh, when there was a kind of back and forth around something in the proposal about broken into two pieces, when I stepped in and said, what we're talking about is the spirit of the thing, not the actual wording of the thing. So the question I think what he's asking for is, can you align with the spirit of it, even if it's not perfectly worded? And I don't even think you need the other option at this point. That's my, because I think you should just do that much, but if you do that and walk away, you actually have success. Okay, so we had another point of process. Did, uh, did everybody our... hear that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Based on the same opinion, if we all want solidarity behind this action, not for the for the notion that we all stand behind that statement and solely the statement, but for the nitty gritty of what it is to stand against mass incarceration, then we can shift shift and shape the statement in whichever way we want, as long as we're providing the solidarity and we're also doing it from the analytical process that we feel the most confident with. So, like you say, yeah, it's fine to say, let's go forward and go with the statement because we all stand behind mass incarceration, but the reality is we can all shape this however we want it to be from our perspective or from Occupy's perspective out forward and then still support this group and still sponsor this activity without explicitly wording it behind. And it's kind of the gist that I'm hearing from you directly. Okay. So as a, a, a process, if you want to approve the spirit of that statement, then I would suggest someone make a friendly amendment. We approve the spirit of this statement. On process. That's what I would suggest so that we know what we're approving. Uh, we got another process, point of process. Okay. What I would like to suggest then is that the man withdraw his proposal that we endorse this wording and simply ask and simply propose to this assembly that we endorse in an act of solidarity the action that will occur in October. Yeah, Boom. let's do it. Get Boom. past it. I that's it. We've spent too much time Okay, on so it. that's a, a friendly amendment. Um, so we tried one friendly amendment of yet another uh, I guess I'll go ahead class. and speak. We had an I want to we speak have a new, mine. Um, still have friendly amendment, and I need you to say process. it again. What do you What do you want to say that this amendment? I suggest that the man re withdraw his original proposal that we endorse his wording and simply ask us and propose to us that we endorse his action that will occur in October in an act of solidarity. I move that. Let's do Point it. Second. Okay, so we have I want to clarify what that's the Occupy Radio is. who just spoke. Make it clear in words basically saying that that we endorse the action what's the name of the action the 
uh, prison, the month of resistance, resistance against, and mass incarceration. And then we get into all that other The stuff. month of resistance, <laughs> uh, mass incarceration. Uh, Repression and the criminalization of generation, but people can take that as well. In an act of solidarity, I propose that we endorse this action okay. in October. So, so we have basically the amendment is that we, we phrase it as we endorse the action of the month of resistance against mass incarceration. Um, this October, uh, taking place this Oxo October, the exact wording. So that's the, that would be the friendly amendment. Yes. Does everyone hear that? Does anyone need me to yes. say that again? Yes. No. Okay. You and want we to have do another do point of process it. here. Another point of process? A point of process is, um, I hope everyone, especially the proposal deliverer, realizes that there's a difference be between an announcement and a proposal. And traditionally, when you introduce a proposal, Chances are it's going to be altered, usually a little bit, by the GA. Okay, so we still have this friendly amendment, um, and I want to see if it passes. The... Okay, three minutes, great. Um, and no one needs me to read it again? No, no, no. Uh, only if you need me to, you want to say something? It might pass. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it, it might. Does, does. <laughs> look, look, I am not very familiar with all this stuff. Actually, that's what I came for, is to encourage everybody to be part of this month of resistance. And then people said, read a proposal. So I, I, I started working on this. So that's fine with me. You know, if people want to like, I, I, my proposal is that people go back to their occupiers and stuff like that and take part of this month of resistance, okay? okay. And bring whatever they can Woo. into I the thing. That's fine. I second it. Yeah. Second it. Yeah. So the proposal is endorse the action, as I said, the month of resistance against mass incarceration. Yeah, can I get a temp check on that? Good. Yeah. Is there any objection to that proposal no. as written? Oh, as there's an objection. objection three. There's three. There is an objection. And two behind you. Endorsing resistance without saying that we're endorsing nonviolent resistance. It's not random. Let's do it. Okay, so there was an objection. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, there's I don't, two I more behind you. There's two more behind you. I don't didn't understand. Endorsing this guy's resistance without specifying that we're endorsing this guy's nonviolent resistance is risky. So I'm just asking that... The very tired and grumpy assembly add the word nonviolent. <laughs> I agree, I second, Lucas. I second I the amendment. Accept that friendly amendment. We include nonviolent. I second. Action. Absolutely. There we go. Thank you. Nonviolent. Okay, so we have a new friendly amendment. We'll see how this does. It's endorsing the action of a month of nonviolent resistance against mass incarceration. Okay, that's the friendly amendment. Um, that temp check on that. Is there any objection to passing that proposal um, as written without any further discussion? There is. No, 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 not objection, not objection. I just meant to twinkle, sorry. Oh, my God. Is there any objection? Freeze. He meant to twinkle. <laughs> okay, that passes. Yeah. Proposal Yay. passes. Awesome. Okay, so what, what, what's the final that, that Occupy... Left. Is going to participate in the month of resistance, <laughs> and they can do it nonviolently. Whatever, they're, that's cool. They are endorsing the action of a month of nonviolent resistance against mass incarceration. Okay. You want more than that? You gotta right, make another right. proposal. No, that's fine. That's okay. fine. <laughs> uh, point of pro Okay, point of process. Okay, so to clarify, it's not exactly what you said. It's not that Occupy is doing it because we cannot speak okay. for all of Occupy. But the folks who are here. At the Occupy National Gallery endorsed okay. this. Okay. Okay. All right. Clarify. Okay. So we just passed the proposal. Uh, same thing. And I think it's midnight. <laughs> no problem. Governing by. Yeah, one minute left. <laughs> oh. Well, oh. Up, we passed it within yeah. the time limit, guys. We passed that. Woo. Saved a minute. Oh no. Okay. Um. So now we gotta decide what we're doing now. Do you guys want to go to another proposal? Time check. Uh, logistics and time check. I need. A, uh, let's do a temp check. These are the options. We could go to another proposal, and you would have to pick which one. Uh, somehow, uh, we could. We could do that, or we could go to some sort of wrap up, uh, uh, open mic, or people could uh, t say something, um, or to announcements. Or we could just adjourn immediately. Those are kind of the options. Um, so, give me a temp check. You want to go to another proposal? Yeah, let's do the power side. There's there's some interest in going to another proposal. Uh, so is there any? So that would be the natural flow of a GA. Is there any objection to going to another proposal? 
Can we go through all the options again? Uh, well, there, so as facilitator, if there's people that want to go to another proposal, um, technically that's where the GA would go. If people want to uh, leave, they can just leave and adjourn for themselves. Um, but we could open stack if we want to discuss whether or not we go to another proposal. Please. Um, so is there any objection to going to another proposal? If you have an objection, we're going to open stack and talk about it. I don't see an objection. No objections to going to another proposal. Uh, another proposal. Uh, the, next, the proposal that got... I think we need to just check in on these proposals again. Um, the way, so I would just temp check each of the proposals. We could go back to the Palestine proposal or any of the other ones. Um, my instinct in the process is just do what we did before. We're going to temp check and see what people want to do. Any objection to doing that? I'm not seeing it. You're going to have to like wave your arm if you object. Um, okay, there's an objection. So uh, please, stack taker, recognize. <laughs> Uh, that it might have changed, and it can be. Mm. I'll, I'll be able to temp check really fast. I suggest you just count hands. Just count the hands. Um, <laughs> I, I appreciate that, but it's not uh, the, the facilitation technique that I'm using. Um, so, all right. So we're gonna. Unless there's an objection, I'm gonna go with the temp checking of each proposal. Are you ready? Um, and you might just go twinkle, all right, just do what you want to do. Live right. stream, <laughs> type out what you prefer. All right, I'm going to read these in order that I got them down the first time. First is the end capitalism start a resource-based economy proposal. Please twinkle up if you want to go with that proposal next. I see like a few, okay. The next one is the solidarity with civilians in Palestine proposal. Twinkle up if you want to dive back into that one. Definitely some hands up there, okay. Uh, the 99 International General Assembly in Australia proposal. Who wants to jump on that one? Okay. And Earth Holacracy proposal. Who wants to go to that one next? Okay. And Occupy Land Purchase proposal. Who wants to go to that one next? Twinkling from live stream. Okay. Um, so the majority, I think the largest ones were the Palestine and the land purchase proposal, is my sense. Uh, anyone strongly disagree with my perception of reality there? I think I got that. Okay, so I'm just going to temp check those two. We need to pick one of those to go with. Um, so again, give me a temp check. You want to go with the Palestine proposal? Okay, temp check. You want to go with the Occupy Land Purchase proposal? Twinkle okay. from live stream. All right, it was definitely stronger on the temp check. Is there any objection to going now to the Solidarity with Civilians in Palestine proposal? I have a question about that. You got a question? Question. We did, but we, um, there's still statements if that we were do not. If we do it, are you willing to, to work it? Yeah. Uh, or do you want me to ask to go in with the Palestine other proposal and seeing if we can make some progress in that? I do not see any hand waving. Or do you want to live stream and I'll do it? Okay, so we're diving into our second okay. proposal. Because we're doing it now. So, um, who's presenting this proposal? Who is the, the reader? Do we have okay, someone or you to, can live stream. Uh, to be the reader of the proposal, please come up here. Okay, so um, the process that seemed that that I'd recommend and, and that can work okay with something like this is it, we just go statement by statement. We're going to start with the first one, spend some time on it, see if we can come to consensus on it, um, modify it if need be, and then if we can't, we park it and move on. So and this one was consensed on, on so basically he's going to read that and we're going to offer revision, so you might have to type them say, in. Let's park it and move on to another one. Is everyone okay with that process? Any, any strong objection? You're going to have to write down okay. what they um, suggest. Um, now we got to agree to a time. Bas you're basically <laughs> like rewriting. You guys want to try a 10 minutes draft. per statement? Right. That seems like a decent decent thing to try to do. Ten, so after 10 minutes, we're going to check in with everyone and see if we want to move on to the next one or, key, or extend time. Okay, so first statement. 
please read it in a loud, booming voice. We stand in full solidarity with the Palestinian people and their struggle to be free from oppression, to end the occupation. We stand in full solidarity with the Palestinian people in their struggle to be free from oppression, to end the occupation, end the apartheid, and end settler colonialism. And what's the last? Settler colonialism. Okay. Um, okay, so that's the first statement. Uh, so first, anyone need it read again? No? Okay. You want it read again? Okay. One more time, we're going to read that. Go ahead. We stand in full solidarity with the Palestinian people in their struggle to be free from oppression, to end the occupation, end the apartheid, and end settler colonialism. Okay, anyone need that read again? Okay, uh, so first come check, uh, give me a temp check on approving that without further discussion. That's okay. Um, is there any objection? to approving that without any further discussion. There are some objections. Um, so let's take a stab, uh, let's open stack uh, to, um, to objections. Let's, let's, let's sure. do that. And try to be concise, okay. Okay, we're looking for one. Okay. I just see one here. Sure. You can go first. Doesn't matter. Would you like to go first? Whoever is um. It's up to the stack takers. You tell me. You're deciding. Go first. Okay. Um. I object. I I'm for the Palestinian people, but I'm for the Palestinian people, but I'm against. Um. The demonization, I know it's very unpopular with a lot of people, but I suppose the demonization of the Israelis. And because the Israelis, remember, uh, if anybody remembers about the Holocaust, and the Jews are never treated well. They're always looked on as the bad guys. Israel gave back the land. They won it in a war. They gave it back. And and, I mean, I object to the way that people are treated, I absolutely, but, you know, this, it's just wrong to, everybody sees that side, nobody seems to look at the Israeli side. And, you know, they're having bombs drop, suicide bombers just blow people up, and it's, I mean, that's got to count uh, against the uh, Palestinians who endorse that. Not the ones that don't endorse it, but just like there's, you know, good and bad in everybody. But okay. I, I, okay, I just uh, don't feel comfortable with totally making it all Israel's fault. Because okay. it isn't. Hamas is bombing them. It and, isn't genocide. And they were trying to stop the, well, then stop the okay. bombing into Israel and it would all stop. We're yeah, focusing on the word craft. So what? He's still breaking the process. They're entitled to fight back. back. Okay. With with massive with whatever they have to do to save their ass. Yeah. 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 They want to wipe Israel. 99%! We all want each other. Let's remember that. We have a stack. Thank you. Thank you. We are, we're all here in a spirit of trying to make the world a better place. I believe. Anyone here doesn't want to make the world a better place, I don't think you belong here. So just try to be um, gentle. Please try to be gentle and speak from your heart. Um, uh, we're, you know, we all want to feel good about a statement we come to consensus on. So please just try to listen. And please try to be concise and respectful that lots of people want to speak and, and try to be concise in your words. Um, so I'm, uh, as I said at the beginning, I don't think direct response is a healthy thing in a General Assembly. Um, I'm just going to, I would request you just trust that we go with the stack. And if you want to say something about something someone said five minutes ago, when stack gets to you, feel free. It, it works. Everyone can follow the discussion. So who's next on stack? We have another concern about that statement. We have a concern about that statement, please. Yes. 
I, I approve the parts of the statement of the sentence. We're going sentence by sentence, not statement by statement. Um, the parts of the sentence that were um, stated, but um, there were parts that were omitted from the previous version that I would like reinstated. Uh, it, it used to say, we, the, the people, uh, I'm, I'm going to approximate because I don't have the original. Hold on. Let me get the original. Um, okay. It started by saying, we in the, nine, in the 2014 Occupy National Gathering stand in full solidarity with the Palestinian people in their struggle. Okay. And I, I, would, like, I would like us to identify ourselves as the people who were here participating in the 2014 Occupy National Gathering. If we have to say <coughs> Occupy Wall Street National Gathering, as was suggested um, at last night's GA, that's fine with me. Um, to, to make it clear who we are. Um, secondly, I would like us to um, make clear that we're talking about Israel, the, the Israeli military occupation, and not just the occupation, to Woo! make that clear. Those are the two points of clarification I'd like in, this, in the sentence. Okay. Um, all right, next off back. Are there any other concerns with that statement? With what statement? Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. So we had um, we have some concerns, and what we'll do if it doesn't pass <laughs> is we're going to try to see if we can friendly amend the statement um, to pass. Uh, How much so time do we have left? We're doing ten minutes on the state. Are you still keeping time for me? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, so. Uh, I'm going to check to see if we can pass it without further discussion. If not, then I'm going to open stack again to really actually make clear concerns. Um, and I think I can actually draw from those two statements two concerns already, and I'll attempt to do that before we open stack to that. Uh, so first, um, so some, you, you want to get on stack as a as part of that discussion? Is that what you're asking back there? Go back. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're not there yet. So go ahead. I'm just going to do. Is there any objection to passing that statement as it's currently written? Um, there is. Okay, so now we're going to try to uh, get the concerns down. And I could say, I would suggest the first concern would be potentially that it's. Uh, you, I mean, it demonizes Israel or it um, something like that. It's it's it's. Well, would that be a, a way? Taking sides is what you're doing. It's taking sides too strongly. We say that as the concern. Would that meet? It's taking sides too clearly. Does that capture yeah, you're your taking, concern? You're taking sides. I mean, you're not you're doing one side. Okay. And you're not balanced. So one concern is that it's taking sides. Uh, the other concern. Um, sure. Well, we'll just um, we'll open sec. Well, it's great for all to express I can attempt opinion, to raise a concern um, that... What we're trying to do right now is look at every single word, so if there's like a word raised. in there that you it don't was that it, uh, No, what's the idea, idea of the yeah. entire yeah. thing? Yeah. Was your like, previous like statement a concern of the whole sentence? that you'd like First to consider? Yeah. It's yeah. not just the whole sentence, it's the whole proposal. I thought this was supposed to be about America and making life better for us. Clarifying who we are and who we're not getting into international policies. So Clarify who we are and who we are objecting to. Mm -hmm. That the National Gathering uh, wants to endorse. Yeah, and so I'm we're against what it. we are objecting to. That's okay. what I'm against it. So of the whole concerns. entire sentence? Any there, other concerns? Are there any yeah, words in the sentence? Uh, for us to work on. I'm against the entire proposal. Right here. There's one in the back there. This is a concern with the original statement. Just again, it said um, there's no mention of peace. The, the suggestion that the wall comes down is, is, is a very peaceful idea. Ideally, Someday, while we're living, both sides can help t tear down the wall like the Berlin Wall came down in a peaceful manner. That would be the ideal. So that's wonderful. But to actually use the word peace, I think maybe in that sentence to, to friendly amend it, to, I think it's very important to keep the, the intention that ultimately it's not just about being nonviolent. It's about having good relations good relationships with each other and it, and it could be possible someday you know it, it takes time again and it, you know just because a few people are messing it up for everybody doesn't mean that everybody agrees not everybody in the country's behaved in the way that some people are behaving that's 
you know, consider genocide and everything, and, and, and or suicidal bombing. It, not a, not every citizen thinks that way or acts that way or feels that way. And we have to keep that in mind. And yes, in in respect to being more neutral, that might help with that. Is to to friendly and uh, add. I don't know. If, I guess amend is the word. Okay. It's not to t it t take away than anything that's been written. It's to add. Okay. So basically, no mention of peace. There's, yeah. Again, the there's concern. no. Okay. Still no mention of peace. Okay, any other concerns we want to add to this list uh, that we have going? Can you tweet to Okay, so we're going to attempt to work on each of these and see if we can amend it. Um, he wants to get it out. So the first one... Let me see if it'll go through. What's that? Okay, so the first one is the taking okay, side what is too it? strongly. Um, so D. we want to attempt... To, um, and then watch. W A T. That. Yes, that's uh, it. it. Let me and see. Then, it'll go through. And then hashtag. And then. Yeah, 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 yeah D watch and, and, and then hashtag uh, Nightgad 2014. Sure. Well, why don't we just open stack on it? Okay, we're going to open stack on this concern and see if we can resolve it. And if, if, you, if you want to participate in this Could you guys step aside? We need because to, it's to too loud. Um, and it's, it, we're talking about your concern. Um, sure. And we could park the concern if you guys want to talk no, about it. No, I would rather. Okay, so stack is open on this concern about taking sides. Who's one? Three, okay, go ahead. Four. Um, twinkle on what one? The, uh, uh, my objection is that the Arab world and Hamas in particular, they all say out loud and are proud of it, their whole purpose is to wipe Israel off the face Who's of this? the planet and to kill every Jew, of which I'm one of them. I can't go along with taking sides with that. Sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, now we got a point of process. Uh, okay. uh, to, to make everybody who is anti-Zionist, anti-Semitic, is to say that they're also against the Palestinian people because they're also Semitic. Secondly, to say that Hamas and the Arab world speak for one another, uh, or or are both unanimous so, in the decision. This is what they've all said. Let him finish. Okay, so, it's his turn. Well, that is definitely not a point of process. That's definitely you want to say that, and I think you want to get on stack. To so that's do a that. point of process to the idea, to the point that she's trying to make. You have to process these facts before you make that oh, point. Okay, all right. Exactly. Stack. So <laughs> exactly. Yes. Okay. Let's go with okay. stack. Go two. <laughs> Who is two? I can't can't see number two. Who is two? Not you. Yes, um, loudly. I I don't know that I have it all worded, but um, because of the. Uh, tremendous inequality of power and um, the, the true destruction of civil society um, on the Gaza Strip in particular and among the Palestinians um, and then Sorry. The, the imbalance being so uh, promoted and supported militarily by our country um, that that is what um, we, we want to set right. It, it's not being anti, it's being to set that right. I know that's not very well worded. Okay, so stack is open. You can just make a comment or you can suggest an uh, amendment. That, that's a suggested amendment if, if it's just not worded. Okay, well, you, I, I'm afraid someone's going to have to actually give me wording for me for it to be yeah, considered an amendment. Yeah, there some words um, that you so want to include take anything or someone take out, like specific words? It's like we're trapped in it, like we're in it. Yeah, because I'm just going to react. Um, the, uh, okay, the imbalance. So you want to insert power. the word imbalance? Um, imbalance, the imbalance of power. Can you write it down? Uh, because if that doesn't fly today, they might be rework it for tomorrow. Okay. That um, that the Occupy National Gathering was taken out. It was technically taken out of the sentence, but only because it was we already had it in the last sentence, and so we were just like, why are we going to say the same thing twice? Um, Isn't that the first sentence though? 
I'm sorry? I, I thought that was the first sentence of the statement. That is? The, yes. Yes. But, but we also say it in the last sentence, and so, and so we, what we said we don't need to say it twice. We make clear who we are. They either at the beginning or at the end. It's fine. It was, with our perspective when we were working on it today. I'm not saying that we have to stick with that. I'm just saying that's what our perspective was. Number two, the concern that, what was the second concern that you raised? I forget now. That it doesn't call out uh, the Israeli military's occupation. It just says the occupation. Okay. And okay. Israel or, and its military and government are not mentioned in the text. So I think this might assuage both you all and you. We discussed at length last night that uh, it is not Israel itself. It is not the Israeli people. We discussed that we will use the term Israeli government or Israeli military when, uh, when it is appropriate to talk about the government or military's misdeeds. Now, the thing is, is that we say Israeli government and Israeli military throughout the proposal, including things I think that we consented on consensus-wise last night. So we don't, I just don't think we need to say Israeli military or Israeli government in every sentence. And we, but we have been specific, it's not Israel the nation, it's Israel the state, the government and the military state. Ten minutes is up. Okay, uh, ten minutes is up on that statement. Uh, Israel's, I don't have any friendly not amendments even in the for us to consider. Right? So we need to decide, do we want to keep going on that statement? Um, and I have a point of clarification. What? I have a point of clarification that the word Israel isn't even in the sentence we're talking about. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, we need to decide if we want to extend time on this statement. Uh, give me a temp check. Do you want to keep going? Facilitator is Matt. He's from Seattle, concerned. Washington. Uh, Wait, what? There's mixed. Is there um, an objection to giving it another five minutes? Is there any objection? There are objections. Ooh. Wait, call again. Can you call again? There is at least one objection. Okay. Uh, is there... I wasn't objecting. You weren't. <laughs> Long sparkles over there. <laughs> it's from, it's from who wants the issue. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the alternative is that we go to the next statement and that wasn't consensed on. Give me a temp check on who feels like they want to go to the next statement and see if we can... Uh, <laughs> temp check on going to the next statement. Not strong temp there. Wait, do you mean uh, go to the next statement? Go to the next statement or stick on this statement? What do you mean? I already I asked if you want to stick on the statement. There's some strong feeling there. Uh, positive, one objection. I'm seeing if people really want to go to the next one. I'm not seeing a strong comment. Thanks for clarifying that. So, uh, we got to decide if we're going to extend time on that statement because that's the point we are. Are we going to extend time? There was one objection to extending, or there was at least one objection to extending time on that. So I want to ask again, this is what we're talking about. The question is, do we extend time on the first statement? Is there any objection to extending time on the first statement? No, don't put your hand up if you want to extend time. <laughs> <It's an laughs> objection to extending time. I see at least, I saw at least one. One objection, okay, two. Open on, do we extend time on the first statement? Uh, and please tell me who's next. So stack is open on. Do we extend stack time on that statement? Four was four? No, uh, so there's a new stack just for this. The new stack start. just for and this. And how much time? Uh, we we're stuck here until we resolve it, so the oh. time doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so who's first on objecting to uh, extending time? So who wants to talk about it? Yes. Yeah, we, we've got 33 minutes left and several other proposals, and this is pretty contentious, and I don't think that we're going to reach consensus on it. Okay, just a point of process. 33 minutes is uh, not an agreed deadline. This could go until I drop dead, uh, technically. Well, we have to... we'll move the GA. Well, the GA could move. Lots of things could happen. Or stay. Uh, okay, so any other uh, people on stack? for the discussion of extending time or not. Okay. Anyone else need to say something about it? Okay, so I'm going to temp check it again, or I'm just going to ask, is there any objection to adding let's just adding another uh, five minutes? Any objection? There is an objection still. So stack, we just need to talk about this until we come to an agreement of what to do. 
So stack is open on do we extend time five minutes or do we do something else? Who's, does anyone want to say something? You're stack taker. You need to recognize whoever you see. Can I recognize myself? You can. Although I think uh, the guy behind you has a hand up. No, no, no. I was looking all night. All right. I won. So you could be three. I know that this is a contentious issue, but I think it is to our best benefit to actually deal with these contentions now, and that's why I would like to extend time so that we can talk about these things because I think it is useful, even if we don't come to a conclusion, that we are communicating about an important issue. That's why I want to extend time. Okay. Anybody else want to get on stack on the time extension topic? Daniel, and this gentleman raised his hand when you were speaking. I have a sin He He was next. Like no, he's, he, he wants to talk about time. Yes, he's really talking about time. time. You raised your hand, no, no, you wanted no, no, to no, talk no, about no, time? No, no, no. Okay. Over here? That's right. Okay. Uh, you, you're, you're first then. One, we, two, three. We're wasting time talking about time. Let's talk about the issue. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Two. Yeah, I, I, I think this is a this is a heated debate, and we're not going to get to it in five minutes. That's what I want to say. We should move on. I agree with lots of people. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay, um, so I just as a check. Uh, <laughs> so if we agree to extend time, then I'm going to ask you how much time, and we'll come to so agree on that. Uh, NatGAD 2014, I'll respond to that in a minute. If you guys are saying five minutes is too short and you want more time than that. No, uh, no, no. So, okay. so the options are we table that statement and move to the next one, or we extend time on it. Um, so you got to decide. Uh, any more statements on the topic before I attempt to check to see if we resolved it? Uh, go ahead. Why do we have a time limitation on it? We don't have a time limit. Okay, let's go for it. I have a stack. We could say we're going to talk about it without a time limit if you, if you want to do that. Um, I think it's, the time limit is just to give us a point to check in with the group and see if we want to continue or not. Uh, okay, anybody else on stack? Okay, two things. First of all, feedback from live stream. I think the facilitator is doing a great job facilitating. Um, I also um, wanted to remind the GA that we did agree to take every statement and give every statement 10 minutes, and this is the first statement. There's one, two, three, four more. So we agreed we can change our mind at any time, but just a reminder. Okay, so, so uh, that's a process check, um, and it's really up to you to hold yourself We went through the comments. revisions. Um, we consensed on one okay. statement. So I don't see on then we went stuff. to a second proposal from another man the about uh, mass, mass incarceration. We passed um, that proposal, so is there any and the GA agreed the to come back and, and talk about the statements that were not there consensed no on again. So, uh, we acknowledge that the right? permit goes to 10. Yeah. Okay. We will decide we if we're going to move the GA or what to do as that time approaches. The facilitator is prepared to facilitate until he drops dead, no matter where that might be. I would like to speak on the subject. Yeah, you're, on, you're next. Oh. It wasn't on the subject of those. It's, it's on whether or not we extend time. That's yes, what we're talking that's about. about. Extend time. Yeah. For, yes or no? Yeah. Yes. You, sorry. Did you? Have, you I want to, I want to extend the time okay. on okay. the subject. Okay, then you weren't objecting. Okay. No. So if, if you object, if you do not want to extend time, this you put your hand up. So is there any objection to extending time on that topic? There, there are objections. Stack There's is open. There's one, two. Um, please recognize. Uh, if we want to extend time on this, we're probably going to want to extend time on the other statements. And I think that uh, we should either design ourselves on relocating somewhere and being here for a few more hours. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, Stack Taker, just recognize who's next. Is there anyone else? 
else would like to speak? I thought I saw another hand. I don't see anyone else. Nobody else on stack to talk about extending time. Uh, so I'm just going to check again. Um, is there any objection to extending time on that topic? There are objections. Is there any objection Three, to just four. moving on to the next statement and seeing if we can make uh, progress on that? Is there any objection to moving to the next statement? One objection. Okay, that's an objection? Two. Three. Point of process? Three. Point of process? 28 minutes, so please keep that into consideration. I yield. Okay. So, uh, the permit is expiring in 20 minutes. So, um, as a process, I'm not sure what happens in 20 minutes. I guess the organizers speak best. I'm attempting to get a lawyer right now. It's public land. So, uh, I, would, I think there's two things. Do the organizers need help uh, moving stuff? And then... Are we all going to get arrested in 20 minutes if we're still here talking? Okay, so those are the two questions. Go ahead. Okay. So um, we went through this last night, and so our permit expires at 10. Uh, we made it off a few minutes later, but it, you know, we cut it really close. And so what happens is, and it's not just we need a few people, we need everybody to help us get off the property. We need to pretty much pause what we're doing at some point until we're off, and then you guys can decide what you want to do unless you've decided it ahead of time. If we're on the property past 10 o'clock, we are, in theory, mm -hmm. trespassing, and we can all be arrested. This is public uh, land. You have a permit, and that is you're in, you're in theory have to be warned before you're arrested. We have to be, to be warned before we're arrested, but we'll be into that so, process. But we need to make sure we get all of our stuff off the property, that's for sure. And the boundary is the side. Well, it's not necessarily for right. sure. Any questions about that? So, um, we have to do it. questions? Okay. Is there a, what, another email? place where we're going to go if we leave? Um, okay, so let's take a pause and talk about this. Uh, One minute, hon. So let's see. Uh, I think there's two things. If, if the organizers at any time want to say, hey, we need help moving stuff right now, uh, please do a point of process and do that, and we'll see what happens. I assume some people will help. Maybe okay. everyone will help, but at any time... Uh, everyone will help. Everyone will help. We went through this this morning. Okay, so at any, when, I'll leave it to you. When you want to say everyone start helping move stuff, do it. Uh, if we... Uh, if, if, do we want to move this venue? Um, I guess that's one question. Do we want to end the GA at, at the permanent expiration? Do we want to just sit here and keep going and see what happens? Um, we could do that, or do we want to move the venue somewhere? Uh, those are kind of the three things uh, that we need to decide. So you give me a temp check. Uh, let's assume everyone will help move the stuff that needs to be moved. I believe that will happen. The next question is, do you want to just sit here and keep going with the GA and roll the dice and just see what happens? Temp check on that. Okay. Uh, do you want to? Some people uh, want to stay. A Permit new or venue not? To go to. Uh, to move the GA and not risk any issues. Not not strong there. Do I have a third option there? Oh, we could adjourn the GA. Uh, and okay, so I saw mostly sparkles up on. Let's just keep going here and just see what happens. Um, I'm cool with that. We'll all become friends. When you Go post friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Matt. Yes. There was a suggestion of the circle on Capitol Mall, you know, outside. Okay, so we could move. There is a venue we potentially could move to. Circle on Capitol Mall. Uh, maybe we just all keep that in mind if the GA suddenly adjourns in some dramatic fashion. <laughs> we have an emergency <laughs> closure. Where, um, where's that location? Okay, uh, so where the heck were we? Um, the circle in front of the front door. Oh, I think we were just temp checking whether or not Thank you. we go to the next statement. Still not very well worded, but okay. I think that almost passed. I need to check again. I'll now. give that to the committee. So, Thank you. Uh, is there any objection to parking the first statement and going to the next one? Is there any objection? Are we all listening? Yeah, if they're listening, they might object. All right, I don't see anything. <laughs> Carry on. I'm attempting to get a hold of a lawyer that has offered his services. Good. Lawyers are welcome in this assembly. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to the next statement. I didn't see an objection. The next statement is going to be read now. Okay. Oh, yes, please start at 10 minute clock. Thank you.
We demand that the United States of America cease its complicity in these war crimes and crimes against humanity by withdrawing all foreign aid to the Israeli military made possible by taxpayer monies. Okay. Uh, does anyone need that read again? <laughs> uh, Ten minutes on this sentence. So, is there any objection to approving that proposal as written without further discussion? There are Three some objections, objections, so stack is open on that, uh, that statement. And I'll try to, after you speak, I'm going to try to see if I can state a specific concern with it. Um, yes? Um, I really keep having to ask you, but there are people here and you're not even turning around to see their arms. So can you please stand and make it a circle, please? So Do people want to scoot in if he's scooting back? Yeah, no, he keeps scooting in and then these people, I, I mean... When you but then he's further away from them. So okay. it's better if we're in a circle and all even. Okay. Um, so... This is really a horrible circle. Just want you all to know that. <laughs> um, well, if, mean, if you want to hear, I'm going to stand here. I'm speaking loud, but I'm speaking. I'm moving forward to try to hear people that are far away. Everyone could come closer. We really could. Um, and then you could hear each other, and uh, then we get to know each other to prepare for our night in jail together. Um, okay. So uh, I'll stand here. All right. So we were opening stack to concerns with that statement. Concerns on this statement. Who would like to state a concern on the statement one, two, concern on the statement three, I see three, please. Okay, go again. Okay. Um, we demand that the United States do this. Not everybody feels that way. So I just don't think it's a demand that should be a demand that uh, for the United States to do something. We, and I, I really thought that this was supposed to be about improving our lives and, uh, and not about foreign affairs. Uh, but, it's about uh, Palestine. But, uh, yeah, so. We're directly affected. Hold on. Please don't give a, a direct response. And well, they'll, they'll tell no response to come here. And no, then we I'm, won't make a direct response. I'm, I'm speaking to everyone. And this is a very, I mean, this is a hot issue. Um, yeah, which is why I don't think that it belongs here. It's inappropriate. It's here. It's not here. It's here. We're talking it's about it. Here. No, it is it's here. That's right. And I have the freedom. And I have a free speech too. Yeah, but you guys yeah. are interrupting everybody. It's, it's else. No, be yeah. quiet. Excuse me, interrupt. Hey. I'm actually shut agreeing up. with you. You're kind of dyslexic. I'm right. saying it has to be mutual. No, you're dyslexic. Right. Stop. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm agreeing you're with you. And you're I'm an idiot. Yes, you are. Who agrees? <laughs> Okay. I'll remind everyone that we are live streaming. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so, um, all right, we're gonna do a vibes check moment. We don't have a vibes checker. A lot of occupies do. Um, I didn't call for that, but you know what? We definitely need a vibes check moment here. The role of vibes checker is to say if tensions get heated, and there have been GAs where like fist fights have broken out. Uh, we're just at a sort of nasty words. Which is a good job, everyone. Not, get, not getting worse than that. So, um, what I want to say, and maybe and maybe we'll just open stack a little bit on this for the vibes, okay? What I would say is, we're all here to speak from our hearts. We all want to do something. We all want this world to be a better place, and we all want this world to work for everyone. There are some controversial issues and things going on in this world. And we are talking about an issue that's far, um, it's really far away from here. So it's, it's really hard for us to speak um, about it and to, to feel it. So we're just doing our best. Please try to be respectful of one another. Try to stick, the process that we're using is a process that is meant to be um, accepting of every voice and every life experience. And we don't have to get to consensus. But we have. But my goal is we've succeeded if we've had a respectful discussion of it, and we've like spoken from our heart, and we've tried to listen to each other. So let's just try to do that, um, please. And uh, if anyone else wants to say anything just about the vibes of this moment, I'd love to open stack to see if anyone else wants to say something. Talk about the vibe, starting here. Um, yes, I just want to say that this is the Occupy National Gathering, and there are widely diverse people here. Nice obviously. and loud. There's obviously widely diverse people here. Um, while I agree that this is an while I agree that this is an extremely um, important issue, 
I feel that um, the parameters of discussion that have already been involved are, uh, they seem to be, the issue seems to be very highly complex and it seems like um, yesterday it was causing a lot of high, t you know, high um, tensions among the group, which is totally understandable. But I feel that this is an issue that is beyond the parameters of this gathering as a whole. Um, if we can't come to a consensus on what was said immediately, and it's going to um, cause, you know, this stuff. People came to this gathering to discuss all kinds of things, and what we've heard so far are issues that have brought up that are have almost impossible solutions uh, or possible impo it's impossible to come to a consensus on some of these things um, some of these things have been going on for centuries and um, they are highly complex and we can discuss these things I just don't think that the GA here at the National Gathering um, has enough time to do it justice um, and I feel that um, many people um, came and I'm not sure maybe the temperature check of maybe if people feel that this is something that can be tackled by this assembly right now um, or if other people were expecting something different from our GAs basically you know I mean because we've been basically just brought into these things with no other input at all other than this is happening and this is happening and this is happening and it feels very controlled to many of the people here that have been commenting for a couple days. So I'm just saying that everything seems very complex and I think that right now we all want to get together and hear a lot of different things. And that, I mean, I'm, it is very complicated. I apologize for taking so long. I'm trying to be very fair because I would like to work on this but I, and I, it is very dear to my heart and it breaks my heart to know what's happening there. But the types of discussions this could go on for a very long time. I feel for a group that was meeting regularly, but for to cram all this into a weekend of a couple GAs, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be as productive as as it could be in give, if it was given larger time. You know, okay. I yield. I'm sorry so, for so long. Uh, so still, stack is still open. Just talking Thank about the so vibe much. of of what we're doing here. And please try to be concise and respectful. There are a lot of people that want to speak okay. here. Uh, since. You're talking about the vibes, and I consider myself kind of a vibe expert. Uh, so being a, a vibe expert and the person that's been trying to attract this whole entire discussion, I, I said jokingly, hey, let's stop for a cigarette, but I, I was really just trying to get the point across that I think like if we all took some time and like those buildings over there, one of them, the one to the left, says into the highlands of the mine let me go so I think like, if we took like a five minute is like assembly in our own mind to just reground and regroup then we could get to the right side of the building which says bring me men to move my mountains and if there are people that we're speaking on behalf of the people who are incarcerated the people who are being bombed um, we could be those men to help bring their mountains back so yeah, I think if we just took some time out, cheer time, we'd all be good. Thank you. Next. Three was... I'm three. Three, please. So, yeah, I want to speak... I, I don't like the light on me. If you want to live stream me, it's fine, but I don't really like the light in my face. Oh. So you can't live stream me without the light? Yes, we can. I'm going to unplug it right now. I mean, I'm going to turn it off right now. I still like the light in my eyes. Um, I want to support Donna in what she said because I also want to del support Delphine. I know that, for instance, Delphine feels very strongly about these, uh, these proposals, and I support them, and I think we all know they're very controversial. <laughs> so... I'm trying to split a hair here because um, I thought this was going to be a healing gathering and there was a lot of, con there's been a lot of contentions in Occupy and disagreement and in fact they said there's two concepts, there's two issues that the left simply can't talk about. One is Israel and one is gun rights. 
Uh, I'm not saying we, we shouldn't adopt. I support the, the, uh, the, all of the statements I support completely. What I don't support is turning it oh, into yes. these long drawn out things where, in other words, it's the bad vibes. And, 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 but okay, so what is bad vibe? What's its solution? Here's the solution. The solution is that it, when we plan this gathering and when the other gatherings were planned in, in advance, we never agreed on a, some kind of a, we never had a formal agreement uh, where we voted on sort of how we want to proceed. It was always like, sort of like, we'll do the best we can. Okay, you live stream it, you get the website going. And so what we end up with was a lot of ad hoc uh, procedures, which really didn't, and I think if we were in our hearts, we would not worry about these issues. We would just agree. We would agree to oppose uh, genocide. And, and we don't need a discussion for it. We just agree. And, that's, and those are the kinds of agreements we need. We don't need to quibble about whether you're going to support a certain word or whether it includes a certain thing over here or a certain thing over there. So, yeah, I know that these proposals may continue, but I, I do, I want to, if there's bad vibes, I want to put some of the bad vibes on the fact, on the blame of myself, because I helped organize this, and on other people who helped organize, and on Occupy in general. And so I would like to turn this into a healing, not a dispute over these, these hard issues, but to, to focus on our, our solidarity so that as the year goes ahead, the next year goes ahead, we can uh, uh, work together on Lumio and on these websites and trust each other. Sometimes you're on these websites and you can't even trust the other people on the website. So I think we need to establish trust. And, I, and it, since it's already been shown that these proposals are going to sort of take forever, I think we need to focus on more of a love process. I just, I, I, I to Okay, uh, next on point of process. Point of process. Uh, we are, even though we may stay past 10, right now is the time to pick everything up. We can, uh, so make your request. Uh, everyone. Do you have a request of the GA? We're going to pick everything up. No, we're picking request. everything up in case uh, we all decide. At 10 o'clock, we are arrestable if we remain on the property. We, if we were on the sidewalk, we were fine. No one can arrest so us if the cops we, are here. If we want to stay, if we want to stay. We can continue. That would be epic. If we want to stay, that's fine. Yes, what he said. If we want to stay, that's fine. All the things must be removable. Okay, well, All right, sir. So 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 a bunch of people are leaving to uh, move the equipment and stuff. Do we want to adjourn the GSA Sorry. five minutes to move everything, and then we'll decide after five minutes what to do? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Trevor, I have a point yeah. of yeah. thing to do. All right, some people already, go ahead. Also means many miles. Somebody speaking. Two nights in a row. Yes. And um, they have already been here once and had to leave. They're planning on coming back. Um, we have three people that traveled very far to be here. I think that we should be respectful of their time as well and not just decide on what we want to do with our time, but other people that plan to come to this gathering. Point of process, the um, yeah. Light Brigade just has successful action. But they said they were coming back here. I don't think they may not be coming back to the... I don't know. Nobody seems How much battery? 19. They were here. I'm not, I'm not leaving unless the facilitator's leaving. All right, so... Uh, in you guys, listen to the facilitator. In five I'm going to check to see if we still have a general assembly because it seems everyone's leaving. Anyone strongly object? Okay. Who's leaving? Five minute break. We're, carrying our We're just moving equipment. We're moving equipment. Nope. To where? To, to wherever. To you where, bring it. wherever you want to, I guess. I don't know. So, for those of you who have not been, how much batteries left? Like 18, can I put it on sleep or something? Uh, why don't you just close it? We don't need it open unless we have to read it, refer to it, or revise it. Yeah. Just, um, are you going to close it? Why don't you just close it? Is that, would that take more battery or something? Yeah, it does. Oh, really? Here's the case. Here, let, can you, let's just put it here. You can put it in here and put it in my bag. And I'm just going to sit here and eat my dinner. And update live stream. <laughs> Feedback live
live stream feedback from Rise PDX. Police violating Constitution again. So for those of you who have not been following from the beginning, uh, this is Saturday night's General Assembly at the National Gathering. And we started off the GA uh, reviewing the proposal on pal statements of support of Palestine. Uh, last night at the GA, we consensed on three statements, and the remaining statements were <clears throat> tabled and sent back to committee. The committee worked on it all day and brought it back today. The GA decided to revisit those statements in the proposal first on the agenda. And how many statements are there? Six. Six statements. Uh, well, three. We, we consensed on three last night. Um, today we had six to revisit. So when we went and reviewed the statements first tonight, one was consensed on. So that's a total of four consensed on statements in support of Palestine. We have five more to revisit. Because we had six total tonight, one was consensed on, we have five more to revisit. So after we consensed on one more tonight, which would be four total, then we went to a second proposal um, which addressed mass incarceration and that proposal passed. So check in with your GAs and we're gonna start planning some actions in, for the whole month of October, that proposal passed. Uh, the GA agreed to go back to the Palestine proposal statements and review the statements that were not consensed on tonight. We started talking about the first one, and there was a lot of contention. We were unable to revise the wording of that statement, and after uh, what would be a pretty heated discussion, uh, including the discussion of the fact that we're here on public land at the state capitol um, by permit from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. tonight. Uh, it's 9.56. There's some discussion, well, what are we going to do when 10 o'clock comes? Because we still have a full agenda. And, and uh, so the sense of the GA was that they were prepared to stay here uh, past 10 o'clock. Um, we discussed whether or not we wanted more time to discuss the uh, one statement of the proposal regarding Palestine. We had a long discussion on if we wanted to add time. And, uh, and then discussion interjected regarding, hey, it's almost 10, let's pack up stuff. So what's happening right now is that people are packing up stuff and the facilitator's going to wait here along with his live streamers to see if people come back for the GA. And if people come back to the GA, we'll decide whether or not we're going to sit down right here on public land next to the Capitol and continue on with our GA, or if we want to move the GA somewhere else, or if, in fact, we want to end it. So that's kind of summary of what's happening so far. Uh, any questions from the live streamers or the viewers? We've got some discussion on the live stream. Uh, are you streaming me? Yes. Okay, so um, I don't know if you guys are in both live streams, but we have some discussion on live stream coming out of Portland, Oregon. Right on. Uh, police violating Constitution again. What does that mean? Well, we're here on permit from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. And uh, uh, some people are, oh, I see three police officers over there. We might need a cop watcher. I'm going to go over there and ask them if we can have an extra 30 minutes to be out Okay, here. make sure you stream that and announce you're streaming it. Uh, are you okay with what's going on with the, with the GA? 
What do you mean by that? Well, it's kind of breaking up right now, isn't it? Well, the facilitator said that he was going to give a five-minute break to pack up, and then if people return, he'd continue with the and, GA. And you actually think it's a good idea to uh, do these sort of uh, contentious issues right now? We meet once a year. Yes, I, I do. Okay, well, I, I hope we can get... Would you, wouldn't you support a, a... Excuse me, I just don't want the light in my That's eyes. okay, I'm trying to direct it uh, slanted to you. Uh, would you would you support a, 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 a process of facilitation? In other words, like a facilitation committee that could, could resolve these kinds of things, uh, perhaps even online, like on Lumio. Let me let year. me let me respond to that. You're one of the organizers of NatGat. Well, and there is not already a facilitation committee. No. That's really disappointed. That's like one of the crucial. That's a crucial committee to have. Well, see, there is, okay, excuse me, there is a self-appointed facilitation committee. And who's on that? Because I had a call out for a facilitator. I just came down from Oregon, yeah. and, and an hour before this GA, there was not a facilitator. I got this facilitator. Well, I, I, I would be delighted to go into some of the history of this with you, but... Uh, if we, we uh, I, would you take it as a maxim that we, I mean, we have to be able to make decisions, yes or no? I mean, obviously. absolutely, and okay. that's what we're doing in the GA. That's where decisions are made in the GA I agree. through proposals. I agree. I'm not objecting to any of that. I'm not objecting to. Any I want to listen to the mic check. Okay, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I'm leaving in the morning with my Oregon caravan. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand off the committee work to someone who's staying regarding the, the proposal on Palestine. What did the police officers say? They said as long as we're moving our stuff, we're okay. And then they said they really have no problem. Mike, check that. Okay, we're going to, um, but Vago has some points of information about... It's, the, poli the police say, the police say, as long as we move our stuff, we can stay. They don't have a problem with that. Hey, Is he announcing that? No, that's a decent detective. Mike, check! 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 The police officers over there! The police officers over there! Say that it's okay! Say that it's okay! If we move our stuff! If we move our stuff! That we can stay! That we can stay! They're okay! okay. With it! I'm staying! No, it's for a while you're moving your stuff. Yeah, that's, I don't think they said so we could stay, stay. No. Is that why they're walking over here? Maybe you should go clarify what you just announced. <laughs> That's what he told me. That's what he told me. Okay. Okay. That's why they're walking over here. Yeah, while we're moving our stuff, it's cool. Why didn't he say but, um, that? I, I, he didn't I, say that part. <laughs> um, over here. I think it's about to be clarified. So. <laughs> Who, whose chair? We've still got a chair There here. was pause. I said, let's my check that. Yeah. Exactly. It has to be handwriting. Uh, Jennifer, you, that was not right. That, you, that was not correct. See, it's, it, they, uh, He's clarif It's getting clarified. Okay, you want to come over and make sure that you can uh, stream? Uh, we have a streamer there. Ask the police officer to mic check. Okay. Streaming, live, record. A citizen walk through this after? Or sit, as long as they don't sleep. Sure. I mean, people can can utilize the park, oh, okay. but as far as an organized demonstration or they want to you know, activity oh, meeting, oh. then then the permit ends. Okay, but if there are a few people that want to stay here and work on their computers so, and not sleep, not occupy, not camp. so you're, you're asking. It's just it's about semantics, and and we don't deal with semantics. You have an event. You have an event tomorrow. You actually do. This. So. For your event, the, the time is 10 Okay. So if the event ends, 
but I still have. So I would direct your questions to your event organizer. Utilizing the computers. Yes. Actually, there's no hierarchy. So no one is in charge of anyone. Actually, technically, LR is the event organizer. I'm just saying, a citizen. No. We're not using any electricity right now. Yeah, let's unplug from everything, like you said. What happens if we unplug everything? I don't know who else. And basically, you're lying to me by telling her that she has the authority over me. In what way was I lying? Because she has no authority over me. Okay. So maybe not you as an individual, but over the activities that she's written down. She's, she's our contact. In other words, <clears throat> So yeah. again, if you have Do we have legal aid? We need some legal aid. She's been in communication with us the whole time and agreed with us the whole time. But I didn't that, yes. so she has nothing to do with me. I would just advise you to go talk to her. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And feel free. She's right here. I'll, I'll be right here. When officer, what is your name and badge number? I'm Officer Bertolo. And badge number? That's right here. Could you read it? I don't... I... Thank you. And what's your name? Sir? I'm Sergeant Shields. And your badge number? 14365. Thank you. She is very sweet. You want to ask him? That's good. Sir, may I get your name and badge number? Officer Jones. Officer Jones? 17384. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. We need some legal aid down here at the Capitol, please. Mic check. What's coming. going on? We're, we need to leave. We need to pack up our things. And, and everybody packed up their things, right? The issue no, not yet. Their bodies we haven't left yet, or there's still things. We were in the. So that's all. And again, what we said before is we're not, you know, at 10:01. Right. We're just right. coming out here to see how the progress is going. Right. And is there any confusion? Is there anybody who? isn't making their way to the sidewalk? Is there anybody who's like, I'm just staying all Can you be a legal observer, please? Pardon me? Can you be a legal observer? Mm -hmm. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's stopping you. Okay. Just, just to clarify, um, the GA voice that we are prepared to stay despite the expiration time of the permit, so we're getting clarification from the police officers. The, 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 the entire G. The, there was a temperature check, yes. And they want to continue the GA here instead of right there? When the temperature check was taken, the GA was aligned with staying here despite permit expiration. And so the facilitator, um, we took a break, no, and everyone packed up, and the, facilitator stuff. and the facilitator said he would wait five minutes and see if people came back. So I check in with the facilitator to see what the GA wants to do now. Okay, great, because if for any reason... Here we uh, go. They, okay. We are going to... We are going, going to... to reconvene the General Assembly. Reconvene the General Assembly. Over there, point check. Over there, Over point there. check. Off the Capitol grounds. Off, Off the, the Capitol, Capitol grounds. grounds. Let's go. Let's go. Corner of 10th and L. 10th and L. All right, the GA consents to move the GA off the Capitol grounds. Right. You guide me it's 10.07. Awesome we there. do have le uh, legal observer here, by the way. Getting the stuff. Thank you for getting the stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I have not been able to read the feed. So while I'm following our fabulous facilitator, I'll read the feed. Um, if you have any questions or whatever, you can type them in. Um, regarding the facilitator, I missed his workshop today. Um, I was literally working on the Palestine statements 
all day. I've been working on them since I got into the van ride down here, basically, um, from Eugene, Oregon. And so I didn't make his workshop, but hey, let, let me interview him. Hey, facilitator. Uh, we've got our GAs coming down here while we have some time. Can you um, tell us a little bit about yourself and your deal? Sure. Uh, I'm Matt Reddy, and I'm from Washington State, and I was a professional facilitator, and then I got involved with the Occupy movement and uh, learned all about consensus facilitation, and uh, I love it. I love this stuff. Um, and so I think it's a beautiful thing. I love bringing people together to share their ideas. And, um, and my big project is actually to try to do consensus on a mass scale. I want to do this with millions of people, um, or well, millions is a lot, but a million people, or 10,000 people online, general assemblies where people come together and share ideas. Um, and my project to do that is uh, the Global Consensus Project. Uh, and you can see, you can join the group on Facebook or you can uh, follow us on Twitter, us being me right now, and a handful of people here who are really enthusiastic about it. Do you have a uh, contact you want to put on live stream? Like sure. Well, uh, G Consensus is the Twitter handle, Global Consensus Project, and uh, just the Facebook account. And I think I got Global Consensus Project at Gmail. And actually, globalconsensusproject.org. We also have it, although the website's not up yet. So here we are. Cool. So that's, that's that story. I know. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, so I just read the feed. And um, just to summarize, um, things run late. <laughs> and we were holding our GA. We have a, we were at, uh, we, were, we were here uh, every day except for today. We had to go to Capitol Park uh, until we were allowed by permit to come here at 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. The GA was still going, and it was approaching 10, and the GA consents to stay regardless of permit. Um, we took a break to pack up stuff. Uh, and then who can't pay? <laughs> and then our minutes taker freaked out. <laughs> because there was like so many things to capture. And... Uh, <laughs> As contemporarily as I can. <laughs> We're waiting for the GA to come. Very modern, modern, new wave. Uh, the public's going to love it. <laughs> Just wait till you read her minutes. Um, so the facilitator broke about 9 to 10. Um, vibes were getting a little out of control because we're talking about uh, what's going on in Palestine. Uh, vibes got a little out of control and we discussed vibes. And then some of the organizers were a little concerned about the permit time. And we uh, decided to take a five-minute break and pack up stuff and move stuff and then come back and decide what to do. And in the meantime, uh, it was misinterpreted that the police officers said we could stay um, as long as we moved our stuff. And actually, um, they did not want us to stay. I guess there's some law that says people cannot stay on public land if there's a Capitol building on it. I'm not really sure. Um, someone wants to post that law that California has. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Um, so uh, there was some dialogue with police officers. We did have a legal observer. And uh, the GA was mic checked, and they decided to move over here, which I guess it's off Capitol grounds, although it's like we're right here. So... We're here, 10th, 10th and L, like on the grass, on the other side of the fence of the public land, which the Capitol building rests on. Um, that's kind of the summary. Are there any questions? Well, people are here, so maybe we should decide as a group what we want to do, you know? 
Well, you know. Yeah. You know. What am I All saying? Right. So, uh, I'm just a little delirious. We this GA right here. Yeah. We need to decide if we're really going to do that. Uh, so temp check on reconvening the GA right now, right here. Okay, it looks like a little different of a GA to me. Okay. Uh, do we want a mic check to make sure yeah. people yeah. have heard? Okay. Why are we doing mic check so many minutes? Mic, mic check! check! Oh, you want me to say it? Somebody else want to say it? Yeah. Um, that bread really like a portable I have this. And, uh, that bread really Um. <laughs> Do you have any other ports? Only for the, the iPad. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I emailed it to yourself. And I said, that bread really rolls. So in case your okay. computer dies, it's bread on. Rolls, huh? Awesome. Yeah, I did that too. That's great. Um, 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 I have somebody's phone. Oh, wait. I have, um... I have Michael, the live streamer's phone, if anybody has contact info for Michael. I have his iPhone right here. <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to reconvene here. It's a smaller GA. Um, let's see what happens. Does anybody have water I could drink? <laughs> or some kind of beverage? <laughs> Are those fireworks? I want justice. I just don't want to hear about it. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I don't even understand how. Are you guys gonna? Are you guys gonna stay for the GA? Oh Lord, I have to pee. What am I going to do? Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask that question about. Uh, I guess we could. <laughs> no, I want to risk. All right, we're going to. The GA is starting. As soon as that gentleman gets back, to tell you, he's going to run down there and see if anyone else wants to go. Uh, FYI. He's coming I, back. No, All right, I got to go. I'll be right back. I got to go. Right. Go for him as people here so that there are enough people to represent the real world. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You've been taking notes and stuff. Yeah. What, what I was going to say is really important. We had all that other stuff. Alright, we got more people that are going to join us? Yeah. yeah, it looks like it. Some of them. <coughs> now we are in the lap of luxury. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, did I take your seat? No, you didn't. Alright, who's got the occupied idol to put in the middle of our <laughs> oh. Alright, so uh, shall we reconvene this uh, GA with... And see where we want to go from here. No, I'll be, I'll be gone tonight. Any objection to reconvening the GA right now? I see no objection. Is, 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 is anyone, are there, where's Michael, the live streamer? I have his iPhone. He doesn't know that. The guy calling? The guy was on the phone, I have somebody's iPhone. <laughs> it was like on the ground. I have somebody's iPhone. Yeah. Okay. Password protected. So, uh, we are reconvening this uh, GA. Let's do a process check. Um, we don't have a definition of quorum uh, for the Occupy National Gathering GA. Our numbers definitely changed uh, during that move. Um, so, uh, one question that was suggested is, do we feel it would be, we have enough people here to meaningfully pass a proposal? Um, so maybe we, do we need to Two people that? came from Eugene uh, in our caravan, so you like and five from Portland. One is really from Detroit, but living here. in Portland. All right, so we got a mixed bag. Um, is there an objection to moving forward with proposals uh, with the people we have here? If there's no objection, there is an objection, so we're going to discuss this. So stack is open. To whether or not we continue to consider uh, proposals. Do you have your phone, dude? Yeah, I'm getting it up. Okay, so stacks open. I have somebody's iPhone. So I can have oh, the opportunity to stack. I feel that it is not appropriate for a group as small as us to say that we represent the will of the General Assembly of uh, the Occupy the Occupy National Gathering. Yeah. 
I feel it is very important to have the people, enough people to really, and of course the people who are involved particularly in this particular discussion. So I would, I would feel that it would be very inappropriate for us to pass any type of proposal at this point because of our small numbers. <coughs> Nonetheless, I am happy to discuss the issue. Okay. Uh, just as process, please try to expand the circle, but let's keep it tight. And anyone that wants to sit in, please join. Um, okay, so uh, stack is open to discuss whether or not we even consider any proposals uh, considering the numbers that we have here. So stack's open. If you can give me a time, we can wait. Stack, no, stack, no, 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 stack, no, no, stack, no, stack, 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 meaningful discussion on it and we'll move the idea forward. I, I, I am assuming this is a way to take initiative on this and, and get a broader consensus nationwide from other locals, right? Okay, let me find out. Next on stack. Uh, for my part, I've been going through a lot of meetings. Call me because you have my number, right? Uh, progress is made uh, by a very small, no, I dedicated do. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Rain, fire, sleep, snow, meat, and hacks it out. And I think I see that in this group. I'm bored of leaving that policy. Okay, anybody else on stack on this topic? Okay, thank you. I will put myself back on stack. I would be uh, satisfied if we simply yeah, redefine who we are and did not say, if, as long as we do not say, the Occupy National Gathering has passed its proposal. If we said something more minimal like a collection of people from the gathering passed its proposal, then I would be satisfied to pass a proposal. Okay. So um, that's basically a, a head nod towards a potential amendment to any proposals that we pass. Uh, do we have any discussion of that? Um, I, I think that if we aren't going to pass proposals in the National Gathering, then we should just adjourn and, and wait until we are at the National Gathering. But I, I think that this is, <laughs> this is the National Gathering. Okay, next on stack. Yeah, this is the National Gathering. We can call ourselves the Working Group on Gaza, I, but I don't believe we're a, we are a collection of people from across the United States. We do represent NatGAD 2014, and I believe we can endorse that as that. And we are the ones that are concerned with this issue. Okay. Uh, so let's do a, a check. Uh, is there any objection to us proceeding with considering proposals? Uh, yeah. Is there any objection to us proceeding with considering proposals? As the working group on Gaza, <clears throat> for this particular proposal. Okay. So, um, all right. So there's hands up. So stacks open. So, so this is now the working group on Gaza, or are we just going to focus on that proposal for the rest of the evening and not the other one? Are we going to discuss Stacks. these things again at the GA tomorrow after the working group passes it? All right, stack still open. I I echo that question. Um, I uh, I don't think that would be a good name for this group. I think this group should be called the GA, and um, I think that. Uh, um, the proposal that is on the table is not just about Gaza, it's about a lot more. Anyone else in stack? Three? I was three, I think. Two? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, my, my thinking like, on the Gaza thing, basically, is that, and maybe I, so I missed part of this, so maybe I hopefully I'm not repeating something, but just basically that people are dying every day. 
and it's, it's, it just doesn't strike me as, a, as something you can kind of go on and on about. That we, the sooner the better that we deal with it. Okay. Anyone else on stack? Well, yeah. So let's deal with it fast. But the reality <laughs> is, or oh, excuse me, wrong, wrong place. <laughs> my, in my opinion, we have never established a good process. Our, the, the, the idea that the, 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 the the Wall Street hand signals, those are great. All that stuff, consensus, I think it's great. There are objections to consensus and key things like that. But even though all that is great, we don't have a good process because it's not carried over. And the planning for this thing was done uh, amongst people that frankly didn't even know each other. That means and, 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 that and so means that's that the all reason we, on that, except on this we need a consensus. We'll excuse me. You know, it's like we need a coordinating committee. We need a committee that will set up processes throughout the year that we can then use, and so that we avoid issues like this. That you can't bring up an issue that everyone's going to go crazy about. It has to be handled. It has to be by committee. It should go to a working group on God, and then it's just, let's establish. Let's, I say, let's plan for the next year some kind of a process going so that we I I'm seeing the different groups in it, so I don't know if I'm going to work there I'm one the person, because I don't know when okay. I will find a job and what, because I'm just saying. Well, let her, will you uh, is there anyone else on staff? I would say uh, direct response to that. Will you frame oh, you can get on the staff. Yeah, direct response. Yeah, direct response before staff. Like, as is. Is it tomorrow? I'm actually not facilitating with direct response, but the next on staff is no one else is on staff, if you wish. Okay, well, I guess my direct response to that is the reason why Gaza is such a primary issue that we can't get past without getting past it is because it's the issue of sovereignty. Yeah. And when we're dealing with things like that, we need to understand that words like genocide prevent an evolution and emblazon the revolution that perpetuates an oppressive thought pattern. And if we are clever enough, we can word it so that we eliminate that cycle. <clears throat> Because then we don't have to do what every revolution has always done and eliminate the previous oppressor in order to maintain order. And everybody agrees with that. Well, so stack. So, yeah, please get on stack. And I'm going to do a point of process. Um, so the question is, do we have a quorum to consider this right. a NatGAT well, GA? So okay. I think we have to see if we can agree what number is a quorum. Because people are adding themselves since we started this discussion. I count... 20 people here. Um, so we need to uh, see if we were, I mean, we almost need to decide and make a proposal about quorum um, to come to agreement on that. Do we feel like 20 people is a quorum to do a meaningful GA for the NatGAT uh, this year? A temp check on that. Okay, so it's mixed. Is there an objection to saying 20 people is a quorum? Is there an objection to making that statement? There is an objection. One objection. So let's just consider this, um, the proposal on the table. There's an objection to saying 20 people is a quorum. And now it looks like it's 22. I think I'm 23. 23. Yeah, so people are going to leave, then you're going to lose quorum. That's right. Crazy. And okay. so if we what? lose quorum, then the GA is What's a quorum That's concept to occupy? It's I gave whoever it is in the moment is in the moment, and whoever is in consensus is in consensus. And it's like if people thought it was important enough, they would be here. If they didn't think it was important, they were going to go. So please, please get on stack. So we're going to open there. Um, so my, I'm going to suggest the proposal is that uh, quorum is at least 20 people. And um, is there any objection? That's arbitrary objection. It, yeah, it is arbitrary. Oh. You can change it to a quorum as whoever's here. And so that could be me and one other person if you want to amend it that way. Um, if I'm facilitating. Uh, so, the proposal is that quorum is 20 and we should proceed uh, with that. 
Stack is open to any objections. The, um, the planning group for NatGat had a quorum of 10. Can you clarify? Do we have anyone on Stack to discuss this? I say he voices his objection. Well, my objection, no, I am on Stack. Uh, my objection is that uh, two things. A, I think that this is too few people, but more in particular, because two of the people who are most intimately involved in this discussion are no longer here. I feel it is very important that we not do what, what we talk about um, for uh, passing proposals by... Uh, waiting who, people out. What two people? What two people? That is why I feel uh, that it's simply the wrong thing to do. I would feel very, very bad. I would expect people to be angry at us. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Good reason. The two people who are most against this are not here to voice their opinion, and it's not fair that we have waited them out. Okay. Okay. So there's one concern. Now, for any other concerns with the proposal that you want me to list, we can then. Um, try to resolve this concern you just stated after that. But any other concerns you want to state with saying the quorum is 20 people? Is that a concern with saying the quorum is 20 people? I'm not against it. So okay, then hold on. Hold off a sec. If there's no other concerns, then the single concern we have is that we uh, it wouldn't feel good because we um, affect. It would seem like we waited out the strong objectors. Does that basically capture your concern? I want to so, speak to that. So stack is open for comments or any attempt to resolve that concern. Um, okay, stack's open. I, I've been uh, my hand's been up. Yeah. I've been to a lot of consensus meetings and in a way for uh, Occupy. And uh, what I've always found is that in consensus, whenever the there's people that leave that know that this discussion is going on. They have just made a choice to take themselves out of the discussion. And I think that, that just because these two people left, that we shouldn't go on, that we should, we should wait on them. They knew that we were going to come right back and discuss it. That's that's what I wanted to voice to that. I respect it. Um, but, but, yeah, they chose to remove themselves, so they're no longer part of it. And, and that's something that happens in consensus. Um, I'm good with going third, even though my hand was up first. Uh, I want to reiterate what the first, uh, the first comment was. Uh, the people that strongly objected uh, left <laughs> right away. And that seems to me like they left. They are no longer part of this movie. So I think... Okay, the two people you're talking about, the couple who are up in front, is that the two people you're talking about? Okay, I want to point out that I have not seen those people at NatGat all weekend long. I've not seen them at a GA. They came to tonight's GA and were upset. I hadn't seen them at all at NatGat, at all. Gabriel is here. He's been at NatGat. He has voiced some concerns with the proposal. Gabriel is here. We do have someone here who has been active in the in these statements. So I just I just want to point that out. Anybody else on stack? So I'll put myself on stack to say I'm willing to stand aside on this one and simply voice my concern that I think. Okay. There's another person. Oh, uh, is that a hand up on the Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 on this. Um, sir, in the uh, pink shorts, what is your name? Toby. Toby. On the issue of um, if they leave, they leave, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I think I heard you say to one of the members of the couple that all we have to do is wait for you all to, to not be here tomorrow and talk about it tomorrow. And if, I, if I'm incorrect in having in, in, the, in my, that recollection, please tell me. But I said it to the couple? You said it to, you said it to a group of people, and one of the people in that was in that group was a member of the couple. And that 
and that. And that, and then they, I, all I heard from them was, oh, gee, thank you. And then I, like, walked away, and my impression is they may have left because they, they may have felt disrespected by that remark and say, well, they're going to do it anyway. Fuck it. Let's go. Um, so to me, if that's the case, that would be my uh, objection to carrying this on tonight without them. Um, and even, though, even though I completely support... Almost, mo- almost entirely this proposal. Yeah, I agree. That was very indelicate of me. Anybody else in stack? No one else? Okay, uh, so now we're going to temp check. Um, actually, we're going to see. Is there any objection to moving forward? Thanks. Sorry, I'm losing my place here. We actually had a proposal about quorum. Any objection to considering at least 20 people here a quorum uh, for the NatGat? Occupy NatGat 2014. Is there any objection to considering that 20 enough of a quorum? There is an objection. Uh, so, uh, so we need to hear any objections stated uh, to that. Because this is a north side. So stacks open to that. So my objection, in light of everything that's just been said, is that I, I was told by some other people that I, if I'm the only one objecting to this, then uh, they'll move to something that they like to call modified consensus, which really isn't consensus at all, wherein uh, the majority, maybe 75%, maybe 95%, would overrule my objections. And I don't think that should happen if we're, if we're ruling with a, such a small forum. So just as a point of process, um, as facilitator, I won't go to anything other than pure consensus. Um, so that's what, um, there's not going to be a modified, if everyone wants to do modified consensus, someone else will step up to be facilitator. Um, okay, so is there any other concerns with us considering 20 people a quorum? There's ticks in the grass. Uh, so just to clarify, if we get below 20 people, then, as facilitator, I would consider the GA uh, adjourned um, if we use 20. So we need to really make sure we feel comfortable with the number we state. Um, so I want to voice that I want to stand aside from your call. From my call. Yeah, I'm just, I just want to say that. Sure. So, yeah, it's, it's just if you object, if you... That gives a lot of power, though, to, like, maybe just one person. I'm sorry, I'm not on set, I'm not on set, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> a lot of power to one person. What does? Um, the fact that they could, one person could leave. If, do we have 20 right now? Is that, is that what we're calling for? Well, I'll, we can make it 10. That's what I'm saying. Really think about this. What number you want it to be. Do you want me sitting here with two people and considering that to occupy NACAT GA? No. I'd love it if you give me a number for me to consider the quorum. Uh, I'll volunteer number. 535. So, yeah, friendly amendment to give me a number. I'll, I'll volunteer number. Um, I'll volunteer 15 simply because, in my recollection, that is our quorum. Um, but I'm just going to offer that as offering a number, not saying that I th- endorse okay. that for the Na- National so, Gathering Quorum. I'll consider that a friendly amendment. Any objection to making it 15 as a quorum? Any objection? I, I think 15 is, is, is large for 50 people. You know, to have a quorum, it, it has to be somewhat divisible. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so you think it's too large? Because 50 people is The, the whole, um, I mean, because we're still doing this under the title of National Gathering. I mean, unless there's, unless all of you have been to, like, five states and can represent them, like, it doesn't really make sense, right? Because it's a national gathering, so we need to have representatives from each state or sector or whatever I mean like we're just all over the board kind of but it's like it we can only go by who shows up so it's like are we tired of this discussion or I mean can we just go forth with the sense of urgency that's brought on by you know the devastations and just get over the little whatever it is that we keep running into and agree on a flippant statement and go through our I mean, we just need to talk about stuff. We can't keep getting hung up on dumb stuff. I am anxious. All right. I don't know. So, uh, what are we talking about? We talk, we got a friendly amendment of making it 15, and we have the proposal of making it 20. 
there was an objection to the 15, so we're, the proposal is still right now uh, 20. Um, and so, uh, do we have any? Do we have an objection to 20? I need to clarify that. Is, it, no? I mean, is there an yes, objection to making still. the quorum 20? There are objections. Okay, so stack is open on that. Point of board, the point of process. Process. I don't know how to word this, but I would like uh, an honorable agreement that nobody's intending on leaving this to dissolve the quorum. <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> All right, so I, well, why, why do we need 20 in the forum? The stack, please. Four. Yeah, please stick to stack, and I'll just consider that, that that's, a, <laughs> that's, a, that's a, like a different proposal that we agree that no one leaves. We're going to stick with the proposal we have. Uh, the proposal, we're not discussing that suggestion, I don't think, unless we really oh. want to. Do you, want, you guys want to discuss uh, the suggestion that everyone promises to stay? Is it everyone promises to stay or but nobody the, leaves the just to destroy quorum? Yeah, yeah. nobody yes. leaves just to destroy quorum is what I mean. We have to look into their hearts. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we can force Okay, that. I, I, I'm seeing sparkles down, so I'm just going to keep going with Stack, uh, discussing the proposal. Um, I, I uh, you know, not, not to dismay the feeling that you have, because I definitely think that we ha should have some representation from all 50 states or Alaska or whatever. Well, I mean, did they but even show up? We don't have that right. during the daytime. We won't have it now. Having a 20-person quorum at this time is absurd. That's just what I think. I, th I think having to have a 20-person quorum, I think we're just fine. I think yeah. 10 people is a good quorum. That's just what I think. Anybody else on that? Uh, I was I was gonna uh, agree that a lower number of quorum uh, for the quorum would be good. Ten is ten is reasonable. Okay. Three. I'm three. Um, just to clarify, this group is NatGat 2014 Working Group on Gaza. That's what was agreed upon earlier. Um, that was the yeah. earlier. We so didn't agree that on that. Not agreed upon. Not agreed. No, that's so that not got 2014 GA. This is still yeah. we're deciding yeah. whether or not okay. we have a quorum for a GA. I have oh, oh, <laughs> So um, we are discussing the proposal that the NatGat GA quorum is 20, and there are discussions of changing that number. And the, as facilitator, I'm requesting that you give me a number so I can know when to say the GA is adjourned. Um, so, stack is still open. I'm reiterating that I think we need to decide on a year-long facilitation process committee decision-making way that we're now discussing process decisions like forms and proposals and whether or not they're too complicated and whether or not it takes too long. This is a facilitation coordination coordinating committee, uh, call it what you name, the committee for the meeting. Uh, we need to actually delegate this because it's not, no matter what we solve here, it's going to be changed anyway. If you want to <laughs> state that as a proposal, I will happily volunteer to spearhead that committee for NatGat. I so propose. We have a point of process. Oh, yeah, point of process. I just feel that it's apples and oranges. I, I, I don't object to us yeah, having yeah, a committee that looks at facilitation and decision making um, over the course of the coming year. I think that's fine. I would be part of that committee, but that's not what we're talking about here. That's off topic. But may, okay, but then let me amend my statement that, it, that maybe we never democratically decided what the topic was. For instance, we don't even didn't even vote on our facilitator. Not that I'm objecting to its facilitation. So, um, but no, I'm not going to dominate the conversation. But I do most. If, I do move that we have a facilitation committee and that we not discuss particulars of facilitation now. Stack for life, first viewer. Please. So as a point of process, uh, I agree it's preferable for an ongoing group to have um, 
facilitators really work out process, and, but they still need to bring their facilitation process to the group for agreement. This is a unique situation. We, this Wait, is, well, I, you misunderstood what I said. I wasn't saying that the facilitators should work out the process. I said that the group should, uh, uh, what do you call it, elect or choose or delegate or entrust or empower, uh, like a working group, like a working group on facilitation, and that, that from that working group could arise all of our rules. That's sure. what I meant. I, 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 Not that I, the I facilitators hear that. I'm, I'm decided. Considering, I'm considering this a point of process. As this is a point of process we have to resolve to continue this. I need to know if this is a if this is a GA and if we feel this is a GA. It's still a GA because it was never decided that it's not a GA. So it is obviously a GA. I have quorum feedback from a viewer. Okay, so let's keep the stack unless there's another point of process. Someone here? What is that? Do you want to speak? Yeah. People I chat when they want. Yeah, um, I heard Provide that different feedback? numbers. Uh, 20 was proposed, I heard down to 10. So I was thinking 15 might be sort of a good uh, middle middle number, and um, I think we have 24 right now. We went over okay. 15. Anybody else on stack? Um, yeah. yeah, this is from um, Chaz, a viewer on live stream. Just to point out, he says that quorum of 10 worked for the NatGap planning group, F FYI. And that they have the precedent and they use it for simplicity. I would be convinced <laughs> if simply stated the General Assembly of NATCAT with X number of people have to propose. Simply to make it clear that it would be smaller. If we said GA of containing 22 people passes proposal, that would be fine by me. Not get GA of 10 people past this proposal. I could just that. Okay, so that's a slightly different proposal that could potentially replace the proposal we were considering. Now. Uh, it, I hear what you're saying, yeah, Cliff, it but um, put me in an awkward position if we get down to like five people. I won't really know what to do. You're, we're not worried about your awkwardness. Okay, all right. We're not worried about your awkwardness. More okay. comment we're from a viewer. We're worried about whether we can get the job done. Okay. And we don't want this meeting to end up in endless speculation on nothing. Two so comments from two different viewers. Decided. So let's consider this a friendly amendment. If it's all right, let's do a temp check on it. That basically whatever is proposed just states a NatGat General Assembly with however many people are there at the when the proposal is consented on. Uh, so uh, as a temp check on that. Can you say that again? So it is basically that whatever proposals are passed states that it was passed by a NatGat 2014 General Assembly with X number of people. So is there right, any objection to that uh, that proposal? No, no, no. I'm, I'm yes. blocking it. Oh, there's a blocking. Okay, so there's objection. So okay, then quick. I, I have a way to get oh, around stack. that. Okay, stack. Is open. Okay, I have a way to get around that. If, if the idea... Is there anyone on stack? Is he jumping stack? We could... Yeah, kinda. You're okay, jumping please. stack. So stack's open. Well, but it's a direct response. You have to get on stack. Direct response. We're not doing no not, direct we're response. Not, um, we're not doing direct response. We're so, just, please just get on stack so if you want to go here. Yeah. Why, okay, why Chas. Do you do direct responses? We, did, we decided so, this at the beginning of the meeting. As a point of process, I, I explained at the beginning of the meeting, I, in my experience, direct response is just a way to jump stack, and it's really unhealthy. So if you want to okay. speak, just get on stack, please. So we had the Chas here? Um, no, Chaz was right on that phone. I don't think he's No, I have a viewer. I have a viewer comment, but I don't know where we are. I'm Yes. I don't know. Yes. Yes. So, okay. So, we have a statement here. No. Okay. Here and there and you. Why don't we get the live streamer? Okay. Uh, one streamer Cliff says it is a GA as long as it was called a GA. That is my understanding. Second feedback, um, just uh, a, a, a detail that the NatGap Planning Committee quorum of 10 got a unanimous consensus on that number. Yeah, 
this. And I agree oh. with the ten. So here's my proposal. If we accept a quorum of ten, and we have plenty for ten, we have twenty or so, and that the decision we make be done on that basis ten, and I would now again like to put forth my proposal that our decision be directed at a facilitation committee, not any particular issue right now. That's a separate agenda item. Okay, do we have anyone else who wants on stack? See any other hands? Okay, so uh, the proposal, where are we? The proposal is still the original. Here? Oh, there's someone on stack. Okay. I can't see very well. Oh, sorry. It's up there. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just wondering. See, you mentioned that the, um, the National Gathering planning call. Um, the planning committee uh, was a quorum of 10, but how does that relate to this group? It was very just simply, feedback. Very simply, as a matter of, of simple facilitation, simple getting something done. Um, I'm not, I understand that there's a proposal on the table. I understand that. And so it's just, I understand that. And we can, but we can resolve that quite easily. What I'm trying to uh, get at is what we really need to be doing which is to get our facilitation and our coordination and our, our rules, our process, uh, good, so that we can do that. That's what's at issue right now. And so the only reason for adopting this 10 is because it was suggested. That's not what it's at issue no. right now. Right now is, are we going to have a GA? That's the issue. No. Not discussing whether or not we're having a facilitation committee. No. It's whether or not we're going to have a GA right now with quorum or no quorum, or what is quorum? Well, I think we could smash them both together. How about this? We decide we're going to have... The point is we want to have facilitation. We don't want to dispute some issue for the next two hours. So, let me just clarify. The reason we're discussing quorum is because if we don't agree, we feel like this is a quorum, I then we don't... I propose it's 10. Okay, so Let him a friendly respect amendment. the facilitator, please. So, the proposal is that we consider 20... Uh, oh, quorum. The, there's a friendly amendment, so I'm going to just consider that that it's him. 10. So why don't we, uh, we're going to do it right back to stack if this doesn't uh, get consensus. So please keep your eye on stack. But I'm just going to do a check. Um, we're going to, on this friendly amendment I, of 10. You keep interrupting him. Please respect him. He's doing a good job on a difficult GA. So is there any objection to agreeing uh, the NatGat uh, what are we? Occupy NatGet uh, quorum is 10. We have an objection. Last night there is the an objection, so stack is open. Okay. okay. Uh, last working. night at the National Gathering General um, Assembly, the FEMGA, um, which was the first General Assembly, we decided on a quorum of 20. If people were not present at that, then they did not get to vote on that. The quorum of 20 was decided last They did not do that. No. We were there. They did not do that. I never heard that come up. I thought that we decided. No, we did. not be wrong. No. I apologize. Things are very confusing. I do apologize. I so understand, yelling, Donna. Yeah, I was confused, too. Confusing. Yeah, okay. it was, it was I confusing. I confused that was. the quorum was 20. Um, did someone hear a different number? I live-streamed it. That... Was quorum, no quorum, was quorum was not on the agenda. Quorum was not on the agenda. I never make a quorum. I so didn't hear a mention. I, I thought I heard somebody stack. discuss it, and it might not have been voted on. I may have walked away at that time just because things are very confusing. I do apologize. I did not mean to say something incorrect. Thank you, Donna. I understood, I understood it to be 20. You're, don't so feel bad about apologize. it. We all make these mistakes. So I think that was the only objection I saw to the friendly amendment. So I just want to check on it again. Uh, the friendly amendment was that we consider quorum 10. Uh, is there any objection to that? Yeah. Okay, so there's an objection. Uh, so stack is open to discuss. Can you join our circle to contribute? No, I'm contributing. Okay, it just feels like you're not part of our group. And no, I object for a NAGAC quorum for, to be 10 people. That is just not sufficient. I don't mind the 20 number, maybe. I don't like arbitrary numbers for stuff like this. I would say if we are discussing a quorum, we have enough people to make a decision. That 24 people. Okay, so are you, would you like to make a friendly amendment that it's 20? I'll move that it's 20. 
I'll move that it's a friendly amendment. Okay, uh, we're go going back to the original proposal that we consider quorum 20. Is there any objection to that? Okay, I see no objection. So, do we have 20 people here at least? Yes. Somewhat? How about a. Uh, and I'm going to consider anyone that is, can hear my voice, you're part of this uh, uh, circle. Does that include We've viewers? We've got about 24 people oh, here. That's a really, oh, my God. Yes, it ask me that question. 21. Include, uh, I need to... Does it include viewers on yes. live stream? No, no. Yes. No, any asshole Anyways, can. We'll, Let's we'll just continue, please. Forget I said that. 20, then we'll, I apologize uh, so much. 24. 20, 21 physically here. Yeah. I'm 21 gonna, right, physically I'm here. I'm going 20 live people in front of me. Um, and I think we'll be all right. I think we got at least 20. Well, I don't think you should worry about I think you're getting okay. completely upset over this. Uh, completely it's irrelevant. It's he needs to settle on this proposal. All right, okay. so let's vote. So we've got quorum. Uh, I don't so care about quorum. We need to settle on the proposal. So it is not your turn to talk. Please respect the process. Um, we're going to open stack. Anyone can talk at any time. It, it really breaks up things if you just scream out whenever you feel like it. Um, so, so please, uh, let's see. Where the heck were we? Uh, we were at, uh, we were going to reconvene on proposals. Everyone want to start where we left off? Uh, which was at the Palestine proposal, and I think we were, um, I think we were going to the, uh, where were we on? We were on a new statement. Second. Yeah. Yep. Second statement. Second statement. Does that feel right to everyone? And we thought we were going to read that statement again. Does that feel like the right place to pick up? Yeah. Any objection to starting right there? Okay. <laughs> So who has the statement and can read it? Okay. I have can, can I give a morale before you say the statement? Morale from a viewer, Matt Reddy is such a good facilitator. <laughs> Exclamation point. Thank you. That's very cool. You guys are awesome. You, you are awesome for being here. I mean, this is hard work. But of course. Right. That's what I'm here for. I'm just here to read the statement. Um, okay. Second sentence of what we're working on. We demand that the United States of America cease its complicity in these war crimes and crimes against humanity by withdrawing all foreign aid to the Israeli military made possible by taxpayer monies. Okay. Does anyone need this uh, statement reread? <laughs> Please don't scream out. Just raise your hand or throw something at this guy to get on staff. Or <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Any objection? Uh, anyone need that reread? Yes. yes, I love yes. streaming. Let's uh, reread it one more time, please. <laughs> okay, here it is again. One second, just. <laughs> we demand that the United States of America cease its complicity in these war crimes and crimes against humanity by withdrawing all foreign aid to the Israeli military made possible by taxpayer monies. Okay, anyone need it reread? If not, uh, is there any objection to approving that proposal without further discussion? One there objection. A, a, at least one objection. So we're going to open stack uh, for concerns with that statement. You might have to jot, jot down. You might have to. You might have to revise. My objection and, and my yes, my friendly amendment is that uh, we slightly reword it to say Global that rat. we object to <laughs> these and all other war crimes and crimes against humanity, and that we withdraw U.S. military aid to all countries that commit war crimes and yes. crimes against humanity. Yes. Okay. Okay. So there was um, definitely mixed temp on that exact friendly amendment. But it doesn't mean, it might be that we just need to um, a do a slightly different friendly amendment. Uh, so let's just keep going with stack. Let's keep going with stack. Stack. Is that Bill Lewis stacking right now? I don't know his name. Um, I, I, okay, how do I say this? I, I, um, I support the statement as worded um, because... Chaz, um, is that Bill stacking for I, us right I, now? I do not support the amendment 
uh, that, that Gabriel made, because that Gabriel is suggesting, because um, we to to always say that um, Israel is being singled out um, uh, for its war crimes uh, is basically asking us to engage in an act of exceptionalism for Israel. Um, when other countries engage in war crimes, they are called out for engaging in those crimes. And Israel is, is always given immunity to that um, for, by um, the mainstream corporate media in, in the US and, and in Europe, um, and by many activist groups who are skittish about controversial subjects. Um, uh, the fact is that uh, Israel is getting pre preferential treatment and Palestinians are being singled out for discrimination and state violence. And divisiveness itself is not necessarily a bad thing. The Civil War led to freedom from slavery. We need to embrace this controversial topic and move forward with it because it's a matter of justice. Next on stack. Okay, Thank you. I support Delphi. I support her position as far as uh, that we should tackle this issue. Uh, I fully support uh, supporting the Palestinian people. Um, I would like though to point out, and I'm you're Gabriel, right? Yeah. And I listen. Gabriel's my friend. He's all of our friends. He has blocks. Please speak for yourself and not for anyone else. No, He's no. He's correct. I have blocks to this. Are you getting... No, no. I, I need to say this. He has blocks to this. Now, we could go to each person in this group and ask, what is DLA for? I don't really care. Maybe the slight psychological mechanism, whatever made him do this, or that you did it, or you did it, or you did it, or you did it, or whatever you did. But the point is, we're not going to get this settled tonight. It's on the table that it's being... Law. And what we need is facilitation. We have wasted so much on We quorum. have a great facilitator. What are you talking we have, about? We have wasted time on quorum. Because you we keep have, talking about something that's I not on the not table. Only, okay, fine. Then I only... If I, okay, fine. I appeal once more to my dear friends that we consider uh, solving the facilitation problem, not spending our time on this. Nobody likes that idea. That's Not a now. So we got a point of process. Uh, yeah, my point of process is that that our our facilitator process. You didn't understand. I, no, there's a failure. I understand. I understand what you said. You're different generation. I really, you're different. So maybe you two can break off. You can break off and have my a combo. My point of process is just that our process keeps getting disrupted um, and, uh, and and moved off topic by by these statements. So I, I would like us to get back on topic. Okay. Um, I, oh, point of process? Sure. Um, so what I was saying is, is I, I think we, we wanted to be specific about Israel and Palestine, and I support that, and um, I don't think such a general statement is needed, because I think the point of this was be against what Israel is doing in Palestine, and I'm for that. That's what I wanted to say. All right, um, I'm, I'm going to probably speak at length for a moment here, and uh, I'll Do I'll we need to set off, a time limit? I'll start off by saying that we can stay here till the break of dawn, if you like, but I will continue to block this unless we can make the amendment <laughs> that this applies to all nations that commit the same crime. Just as she said that there has been exceptionalism for Israel, there's, she's correct. There has been. But there's also exceptionalism for what's happening in Ukraine, and what has happened in Mexico, and what has happened in Syria, and what has happened in Bahrain. And all of these are countries that we provide military support to. And that is, and the problem is here. It's not in Israel. It's here. We are the largest. We are the largest exporter of arms in the world. Okay, we're 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 creating 
this we're dividing nations, creating conflict we give between them, them, and then selling weapons to them. And that's the broader global problem that we all really need to focus on here at this national gathering. Not one conflict, but all of them where the same thing is happening. And if we can't agree to that, then we can Come agree. And we can talk about it till, till the we day after the tomorrow, if you like. I'll pitch my tent right no. here. I'm trying circle. to listen to Gabriel. No, this is, we have a control. Uh, no, uh, you're not on. Oh, excuse me. You know. So, but that, that's that's my point, okay? I mean, like, it's it's not, you know, I'm not saying we should have exceptionalism for Israel. I'm saying we should prosecute people who commit war crimes and we shouldn't send them any weapons. But the people that we should start with are people in our own government, all right? We need to look at home. Like, the problem is here. Are we going to sanction ourselves? Are we going to prevent our own government from getting weapons with our tax money? I mean, because that, that should be, like, we should do that before we start saying this one particular nation, because we have given exceptionalism to them in the past, now we have to be exceptional in our condemnation of them. That's not justice. Justice is when you punish same crime in the same way regardless of who commits it. So we can keep talking about it all. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. Um, I, I don't I, I, I don't want to disagree with you. Uh, so I would like to make a friendly proposal that we be specific about Israel and Palestine and include your statement about all, all of it. All other like, state laws of violence. Yes, yes. Be, be specific and and be general and add those, mesh those into the statement. And I think we may be able to get out of here before midnight. We do that. Okay, so we have a, a friendly amendment proposed. I want to do a check on um, basically that we try to craft, we take the statement and we try to craft a general addition uh, to it. Um, so, attempt check on attempting to do that. Is there uh, an objection in, uh, to try to take a stab at this? Would, would anyone like to uh, take a stab at actually doing the wording? So, it would, I guess it would be this statement. Hands raised. Two hands raised. I have a possible objection. Today, while we were drafting this, correct me if I am, inc if I am incorrect, but I believe that Jennifer asked Gabriel if he would be willing to do exactly what Toby is proposing. And Gabriel danced around the question and when finally pressed said, you know, I really only care about Syria and Ukraine and that's why I'm giving you guys a hard time. <laughs> that's not what I'm Okay, well... So, just as a point of process, you know... I, I would ask everyone to speak from your heart of what you feel. I what, okay, what I feel, here's my objection. I object <laughs> to Gabriel drafting the statement because he was already given an opportunity. Not because I don't dislike Gabriel, because I don't know if you're playing games or not. I want somebody else right to draft on. it. I've been next, after Toby on stack, Toby, and um, also just responding to what's been said anyway. Um, as someone who's helped in drafting this, I I also happen to have had this view of um, what I would call Western imperialism from the very beginning and would be happiest to propose um, some sort of changed sentence from the one here. Yay. Okay. So that seems in line with the idea we were just talking about. We were talking about uh, a drafting a friendly amendment to this. Uh, does anyone want to take a stab at clearly making a specific friendly amendment? Um, stacks open. Did you already do that? Did you already register? I like wordsmithing. I'm Which really good at it. You want to hear what I... You, look, I even have an example. Uh, where'd it go? 
Hold on, it was really good. <laughs> okay. Alice Arola. Um, I gotta have my point of order just randomly. Um, okay, so I put. <laughs> oh, oh, let's 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 hear her, please. I said, Sam is bored, hungry, and hearing the war inside her head, and which the legislation that could be prevented by this meeting, if only they could agree. Okay, so we got a, a friendly amendment. Do was a temp check on making that the proposal. Okay, all right. So next on stack. We had you on. Were you yeah. on stack? So uh, I, uh, it would be uh, we condemn all state-sponsored violence, specifically that which is occurring to the Palestinian people by the IDF and the Israeli government, and ask for all aid to all state violence oppression from the United States cease. Did we get that word for word? I did. Did anybody get that word for word? Okay, we need to. We're going to type it. dying batteries over here, so right. can you, is it possible for you to repeat that? We're going to take a stab at getting that word for word. We condemn all state-sponsored violence, specifically that which Israel, that which the Israeli government, and the IDF, and the IDF is doing to the Palestinian people, or, yeah, is doing to the Palestinian people, okay? Whoa. Is that it? No, but I can't remember exactly the word of it. I would actually go back to one of these streams to be frank with you. Okay, hold on. So we condemn all state-sponsored violence, specifically that which is... Uh, uh, that perpetrated. Which the Israeli government is perpetrating against the uh, it's Palestinian people. Perpetrating. Palestinian and, and, and demand the United States to seize all it's aid... Sorry, sorry. All aid in state... Sponsored violence. What about <clears throat> military aid? Oh, military aid as well. We do have okay. that. In so, um, if that's not quite right, we can tweak what, that hard. What you you've got, what we're gonna have to do if we want to do this, is um, well, we're gonna need to like uh, get these written down. It'd be preferable if you have paper, if you want to draft something that you wrote it down in front of you oh, so you can oh, read it aloud. Okay. Um, that would help us. Do. So let's check in on that try. statement. We condemn all state-sponsored violence, specifically die. that which the Israeli government is perpetrating against oh. Palestine. You can use this to uh, And demand that the U.S. cease all aid. Uh, to s I would say all monetary and military aid. All monetary and military aid to state-sponsored violence. Um, Worldwide, if you want to. <laughs> Let's do a temp check on that statement. Temp check on that statement. Is it close to what we want to do? All right, so we got some up. We got some hands out. Um, is there any objection to uh, approving that statement? Um, is there any objection to approving that statement without further discussion or amendments? There are some objections. So... Um, so, uh, stack is open. If you would like to change the statement, go ahead. Or if you want to say something else, you can go ahead. Stack's open. It's really simple. Um, I have it in front of me now, so I can just read it again one more time. We condemn all state-sponsored violence, specifically that which the Israeli government and the I the Israeli government are perpetrating on the Palestinian people and demand that the U.S. seize all monetary and military aid to state-sponsored violence. And or for or two, yeah. For the purpose of? Or for the purpose of, yeah. Yeah, for, okay. Military aid for the purpose of state-sponsored violence. And the only little thing I would say is instead of saying we condemn all state-sponsored violence, specifically that which the Israeli government is perpetrating I would I would change specifically to particularly okay just because we're we happen to be focusing in this proposal on um, the Arab Israeli conflict mm -hmm. so what okay. do we think uh, so I'll just temp check uh, temp check on that version of the statement 
And is there any objection to that version of the statement? There is objection, so stack is open to see if we can tweak it more. So I, I would change particularly to including, and let me kind of explain why. Um, I, you know, I, I think I think peace in the Middle East is a very important thing, and I think, but I think that world peace is, should be the focus of an Occupy National Gathering, and I think the greatest threat to world peace at the moment. I think Israel-Palestine conflict is a close second to what's happening in Ukraine. And no one in America seems to really be talking about that, about the threat of a global nuclear holocaust and what's happening in Ukraine. Because that's not, good. That's not the worst case scenario in the Israeli-Palestine conflict. It is the worst case scenario when the artillery shells from a nation that's being funded and armed by the United States are falling in Russia. I mean, I, you know, my, my parents were in the Cold War and they, they hid under desks whenever, you know, they hadn't heard the sirens go off because they thought the world was going to end at any given moment. And nobody seems to really be talking or thinking about that. Just to clarify, your amendment was to change the word particularly to including. Yes. Okay. So, uh, any objection to that friendly amendment? I would say if you want to do in, in that in that instance or that way, I would say for example rather than including, because in, I, I would I would say yeah, it's inclusive, but this is particularly heinous in the context of people dying. As I agree with you, the the, the political ramifications that you speak of in the future in the Ukrainian conflict, as opposed to civilians continually being bombarded and particularly being being harassed, just as we are being harassed right now. <laughs> okay. Say bye. So there was an objection, and the suggestion is to use for example instead of particularly. Or instead, is there an objection to that? It's there are objections to that, so... Uh, not, not really. Uh, well, there's a couple hands oh, up. Okay. The stack's open. Um, the stack is open. Do we have a comment on that? Here? As, here. here. As an amateur linguist without <laughs> any degree in linguistics, uh -huh. but with a degree in poli science and international affairs, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and an appeal to authority. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, I think that that, for example, uh, actually um, uh, sort of is like, oh, it's as if we've forgotten that we were already talking about. Israel Palestine. Oh, we we oh we, we started out by talking about that. Okay. Well, so including concluding can can work more effectively to say all of those things, and with a focus in this sentence on Palestine. Okay. So you're suggesting to go back to including. Yes. Okay. Let me just do a quick temp check on that. Uh, any objection to the statement using using the word including? Um, any objection? Objection? No, every time I raise my hand to talk, I don't get to talk, and I don't even know what's going on here. Okay. I would like to make a statement. Can you okay. wait? Well, just one yeah, I, I mean, I've been waiting. I keep yeah. getting ignored. Get in stock. Right? He's, I'm not being recognized. Well, well, no, no. I just, I'm, right. As soon as Can I finish this moment, you're next on stack. Okay. So, uh, is there any objection to that statement if we replace the word particularly with the word including? There is, there are objections. Okay, so stack continues. No, I want to. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Was that an objection? That, that was an objection. Just, yeah. just to the change of including yes. and, then, and then we would vote on the whole statement? Yeah. Okay, then yes, objection. You are objecting? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. Change it to a no, no, there's one other thing that alludes to the fact of while the, the while the Occupy National okay. Gathering recognizes okay. that these yeah. things are happening right. all over the world. At this crucial time, we are standing in solidarity with Gaza. That's what we're doing. Well, exactly. Oh. But the point is, is look, I've got shaking heads here. I mean, this has been going on for two days. We're here now at midnight. Um, we, we're going to continue until tomorrow. This can't be the only proposal, or really, that takes up so much time during our national gathering. This is absolutely just, I mean, how many people have left? And so all the people that left, now the quorum goes down. We're going to try to pass it with less people. Then when more people leave, the quorum's going to go down. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like 
this is keeping people's attention and I'm just, um, you know, I'm just absolutely just astonished that this process has taken so long and that people are tolerating it. It's worth it for all the little kids getting chopped in half. It is, and it should have been simple from the beginning. As it was written, it seems very, you could have amended it very simply. With Not all things are easy. Okay, I understand that. I understand that, but this happens at every NatGat that we get stuck on a topic that's impossible for everyone to agree on. Last year it was racist. Maybe that's why they're still bombing. I know. What I'm saying is that... All right, stop interrupting her, please. Sorry. Everyone knows what's happening here. This has been happening for a long time. There's many people that don't want to bring it up. This is not, this process is not working for us. We have too many people here that are absolutely not into this. Like, first of all, how did we even get over here in the corner? I mean, like, how do we continue? You know, where do we go? I mean, like, there, we, first we were over there yesterday. Then we were over here. Now we're over here. The numbers are getting smaller and smaller. All we're doing is arguing with, with each other. At the Occupy National Gathering 2014, we are stuck on one topic that I'm sure we all agree in our hearts. Yeah. We don't want like what's going on in Gaza. Okay? How can it be so hard to, to agree on we that? We don't like what's going on. We don't in like Gaza. what's we we absolutely <laughs> are against what's going on there. I mean, this is we all agree on that. I'm I'm assuming we all agree on that. So how is it that we've spent now three separate sessions not being able to say that quite simply and clearly? How is it that we keep having temperature checks a million times instead of just simply saying what we mean? But we okay, don't we like don't, what's we going don't on in Gaza. Gaza. Yeah. Why can't we say the Occupy National Stop Gathering stands in on. solidarity with the suffering in Gaza with all, all this stuff about all these contentious words that we're never going to agree on, that were purposely put in here to cause contention, that were agreed on during the, during the discussion, we were told that uh, the words were changed, then when we were read them yesterday, the words had changed back to the original words. So this is just a dance and a play, and it is wasting our time at this point in time. I'm not saying this issue isn't important. Do not misunderstand my words. I'm saying that this process occurs at every GA, at every Occupy. It happened in another shape and form, and in Kalamazoo, and this is why Occupy never gets anything done, okay? Because we have this whole system going on of people that don't have any vested interest in actually getting anything done, okay? This needs to be simple. We all agree. We do not agree with what's going on in Gaza. We do not agree with the suffering in Gaza. We do not agree with what's happening. Okay? Why do we have to add all these things that are complicate things that are going to keep us endlessly arguing? From the beginning of time, it was divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. And we have been divided and conquered and occupied nonstop. Okay? The only way that we are not conquered is when we unite. We cannot unite when we endlessly debate concepts that have it continued forever. There's one solution, we agree, we unite on one statement we agree on. It doesn't have to be so complicated. Now for three, three sessions already, we have had this going on. This is absolutely ridiculous. There are so many people that have left because they all they say is, this is bullshit, this is Occupy. No wonder, no one knows about Occupy anymore. This isn't Occupy, this is a takeover of what Occupy was. No one throughout this whole gathering has even bothered to read what Occupy is, have they? We haven't even gotten to that. And I'm just very angry because this happens every time and all the people talk in their little circles. This is bullshit, this is bullshit, this is sabotage, this guy's just doing this and this girl's just doing that. And you know what, it's all this rumor bullshit, nothing gets done, we're not following our own guidelines okay we're going into these realms that are just on beyond ridiculous at this point in time we don't oh. like what's going on in we Gaza. don't like what's going on in Gaza we don't support it we absolutely don't 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 want it I don't know what to say but it needs that's to be it. simple a simple fucking sentence that we can all agree on make a proposal I propose, I propose that we, someone else makes the proposal because uh, I'm just I fucking sick of this shit. We don't shit. like what's going perfect. on in Gaza. We keep it simple, I'm smarty, and go from she there. She said it was perfect. It's not just um, about Gaza. Okay. So, no, I think we're having fun what? having this no, debate. Let's be honest. We're going to have it tomorrow, too. Right on. I've been on stack. Let's go to stack. Let's go to stack.
Stack. stack. On stack, please. As a drafter. Wait a minute. Hold on. So a wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Uh, if we had a vibe checker, I'm pretty sure we would do something. Uh, to check the vibe, but let's do it at the point of process. Mor morale here. feedback from viewer. Morale feedback. Bill Lewis from Boston is one of the best stack takers we have. Smiley face. I didn't know your name was Bill. Hi, Bill. <laughs> you are an awesome stack taker. All right. Uh, so let's point of process. Yes, I have a point of process about about Donna's uh, statement just now. I feel that it's an ad hominem attack on on various people unnamed uh, that that basically has the effect of disrupting our 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 discussion to try to resolve oh, our, our, our disagreement. Who, who crafted that on. statement? Point of process. I, and I, I feel that by by saying to hell with the statement that we've been working for days to prepare and let's start from scratch is not gonna it's not gonna speed up the process or or improve our statement. I feel like we, we really should work with what we've got and and not start attacking each other for, for having tried to put it together. Did I attack a particular a person for an ad hominem? Point of process. So yes. okay, point no, of process. I did not point of process. There was no personal attack. Exactly. Introducing a greater dialogue from other conversations that you might feel she was addressing. I believe Donna's statement stood on its own within the context of the conversation that she's been a part of all day long and all weekend long. So this is what I would say is on this issue. I would make a friendly suggestion to the facilitator. One, we breathe. Two, we recognize that there are many reasons why a group makes a declaration and a statement. And that sometimes those big words and those important ways that we phrase them are critical to our fundamental establishment as a collective. And our best words are always the best ones to bring out. And I do believe, unfortunately, Donna, some of us do enjoy this part of Occupy the most. Um, but yeah, we do need to start with the keep it simple thing because it does get overwhelming and we lose our focus. So I would say if the facilitator might want to do some way where we can have a short, clear, direct statement, hashtag style, and work on the broader statement from there, that might facilitate actually getting to a proposal that does finally get done probably tomorrow. Just. I'm saying, I'm done. Okay, so there were two points of process. Uh, so on the, the last one, I would defer to the group. If someone wants to propose a short statement, then just you're, you're get on stack and propose a short statement. Hold on. Get on stack. There, um, and I think that's all I have to say. So we're just going to... Either we're going to continue with stack or we need to do a vibes stop and just discuss how we're uh, doing with the process. Um, everyone okay just continuing with stack on the topic? Any objection to that? You're good. You're doing good. Okay. So okay. I'm a little bit confused about the stack. I think we're going here. Um, and then I guess we're going here, 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 and here. I'm a little bit lost. I uh, due to technology, I'm no longer on the stack. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? So, uh, here and then we were here? Yeah, so I can pull up a document on my phone. I want to change the United States to United States government. Action. Like we did for Israel. Huh? And Israel okay, let me tell the viewers. And then I think we were going here. I'm going to get off live stream so she can look up a document uh, Gabriel, on my well, phone. I, I so, agree with you about um, the, I'm the problems in the Ukraine and the global nature of the United Wait, States to imperialism. I what? want uh, to point out that yeah, this is actually, it, uh, this particular yeah, no, statement no, no. is about Gaza. <coughs> what, um, I support, and I want to help you crop a statement about Ukraine one day. Viewers, I'm going offline so that an occupier can look up the a document on my phone and then I'll come back up. So I need you to get on Michael's live stream. Michael's live stream is? It's Buell 003. Spell it. 
B this, U this gathering e is not about L God. L yes, it is. If, if we want to make it zero, about war crimes zero, and crimes three. against humanity and holding everyone accountable who, who commits those crimes, At that's what? great. But I don't think we're going to agree you stream that or live stream? should be uh, called stream. out and held accountable for that, while others that commit the same things are much worse, including our live own stream? are not. Stream. Would you be willing to also... Hold on, let's... Uh, sorry. Can't have an exchange. Is stack still going? So, uh, I think we have one person here and then here. Did this person, we have someone here? I'm going, I'm going down for a few minutes and then I'll come back up. Um, so, uh, keep me tabbed. Go to Ustream. Um, <clears throat> during the after hours of the 2014 Occupy National Gathering, a working group on the Gaza conflict continued controversial discussion or amending to a statement in which all working members holds near and dear to their progressive and politically active hearts as the message in a bottle written for the oppressed victims of devastation for Gazians. We do not agree with the war crimes and dis-civil disgust against humanity being committed by the Israeli military. This is a call to action. Any power, whether it's the UN, potential lobbyists for the ceasing of foreign affairs funds by our legislation, or any group willing and capable of intervening, to intervene. This simple statement, with many regards to the urgency brought forth by these devastations, e should at, le at the very least promote the push for the dire yeah. intervention necessary for Palestinian liberation. Okay, so that uh, would be a pretty big, friendly amendment changing uh, the statement. Do we want to, give me a temp check, do you want to work from that statement 